Two episodes in a row, just hopping in quickly with no preamble. Yes, please. Yeah, um, do I have anything that I needed to say at the top? No, other than I'm looking forward to, I think today I'll have time to wrap up the main story, which is pretty exciting. Um, and then from there, who knows what we're going to do. I feel like this is definitely shaping up, and I can't see how it won't be my, like, longest series to date. Just because I know there's so many things we haven't done and explored yet, so it's pretty... Like, I've, I've barely scratched the surface of Diamond City. I've, I've just gone there, like, a little bit. A little bit. And, and Boston in general. In Boston in general. So, for that reason... I'm in. Right, Piper? Digging that hair. Um, okay, yeah, so what are we doing? Desdemona. You know what, uh, before we even start, because I do seem to recall last episode, Desdemona. Where's that up from? Okay, Othello and Desdemona. So it's a Shakespeare play, or a Shakespeare character. Is that where I know it from? I thought it was like a biblical name. The Storm uh, Bible? Uh, no. Okay, it's just a name in a Shakespeare play. Uh, <coughs> Othello, which I know virtually nothing about. Okay, uh, yes, so we got to go warn Desdemona, who, I don't know if you know this, Piper, that's a name from the Shakespeare play Othello. <laughs> Out of character, uh, not knowing, oh, in character knowledge, yeah, that's what I've done here, is, okay, Logan, yeah. For some reason I thought Logan had been disappearing a little bit lately. But, how are we for Jawless Brahim Skulls? Oh wait, what does this say? William Shippard. <laughs> Desmona, I got news. This isn't the railroad's darkest hour. We will make it through. Yeah, we will. What? What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Good, I got here in time. Quick, take oh yeah, the Brotherhood's attacking. Sounds like we're going to need it. Everyone else, mobilize. We got Brotherhood incoming. Don't worry, I have a bat. But it's got, like, rockets on it and stuff. Uh-oh, oh. where, where, where? Where are they? What was that? You say something? Couldn't hear you over the sound of my bat killing you. Oh, shit. Are you okay, Doc? Good. We're cut off. Glory's holding the catacombs are now our only she can hold out. Glory was guarding the entrance. Oh no. She may already be overwhelmed by the brotherhood. I like her. I'll fight. Do it. All right. We got to help Glory. <clears throat> it's, it's let me give you a, a slight out of character thing that I saw yesterday that it was like a list of who in Fallout 4 you wish could be your companion, but can't. And I think Gloria was... If she wasn't at the top, she was high on the list. And I would agree. Yeah, she's cool. Gives me Carlac vibes. Glory? No, Glory? Are you okay? We're going to get you help. Oh. Promise me you'll free them. I promise, I promise. This is oh. a dying wish request. We'll take it very seriously. And also, you'll live? Catch this up. You're gonna be alright, Glory. Ugh. Bullshit. Here, I have 200 stim packs. Maybe that'll help. Isn't there... Isn't there supposed to be a light? Oh, man. Oh, <sighs> man. 
<sighs> I don't like that. You know what? I'll take all their clothes to remember her by. And I'll take this noodle cup to remember this Brotherhood Initiate by. Well, that sucks. Now I'm pissed. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey. This is what you get for glory. Hmm. Yeah, are they? Jerks. You killed Glory. You're a you're a tally ho. Mm-hmm. Out of my way, dirtbag. Is this gonna explode? No. <coughs> Hmm. Hey. I can't reach you. You I can. Take that, shit out. Hold on. I see I'm about to be blown. But you know what? I don't care. Because I am angry. Where are you? The Brotherhood will crush the railroad. <laughs> yeah? In some way, I don't think that's true. No. Please. Oh wow. <laughs> I really let her have it though. <clears throat> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis. Alright, I took care of him. The jerks. Wait, where did that one go? All right, all right. What do we do? You've killed the last of them, and you're still standing. Yeah, look at my bat too. Oh, me too. No time for that, though. Can we like fix her up? Their next attack will be far, far worse. So we do the unexpected. Attack them. We eliminate the Brotherhood as a threat now. Nice. Their okay, look at me. I can fly. A little bit. You've killed the last oh, I wish I hadn't have done that now. I wish the same could be said for glory. No time for that, though. The Brotherhood underestimated us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Their next attack will be far <laughs> You okay, Doc? So we do the unexpected. We I think the, maybe the Doc got hit harder than we thought. And the key to that is destroying their flying fortress. Fortunately, we've got a contingency plan for that. Tom, we're activating Operation Red Glare. What? But Red Glare requires a Brotherhood murder bird. Yeah, I'll steal him. We'll get you one. Yes, I'll do it. With what happened to Glory, we need you more than ever. Thanks for stepping up. No problem. Hey, we got to get this done to uh, make her death have a bird on its meaningful. And Tom, you're going with him. Me? In the field? No one else can fly the damn thing. <laughs> this one's I'm sure I can figure it out. Move out. All right, all right. Well, it's kind of a sad day, isn't it? Thanks, Deacon. How, do, how are you doing? You doing all right? when the Brotherhood hits us. Damn it! We must have beat them, though. Their vertebrates just... Hmm. Yeah, sort of I suspicious. Wasn't... Um... Shit. Glory? This is a nightmare. Yeah. I'll meet you at the police station. We're not out of the frying pan yet. Hmm. Or out of the fire. Or no, we're gonna go into this fire from the frying pan? What is the saying again? Anyways, let's go. Damn it. Bullshit. Oh, wait, maybe... Uh, I was thinking I could use the forbidden magics to bring her back, maybe. And the issue with that is, like with Joyce Summers, sometimes they don't come back the same. There's a reference for you. 
Uh, alright, so where's the police station? Oh no, we're gonna have to fight what's his nuts the one guy we didn't mind. <laughs> planning on <clears throat> where's Tinker Tom oh do I have to maybe go down there all right all right I think maybe I'm not done all right we'll come at them from the roof they won't be expecting it yeah, we probably got to make, uh... Oh, it's so dark in here. We probably got to make way for, uh, Tinker Tom. Who's shooting at me? Oh, he gets... <laughs> Knocked that one out of the park. Boop. Elder, oh, so many of them. Too many, you might say. Head knight. Ooh, a sweet roll. Okay, we have sufficiently murdered everyone, I do believe. Where's Tom? Tom? Tom, are you up here somewhere? No? Oh, was I supposed to talk to him before I went over there? Uh, okay, everything's cleared. Here. Relax, man. Right. The whole breathing in and out, okay? The police station's crawling with brotherhood guys. Is it? At least one in power on them. But as promised, they got a vertebrate on the roof. Mm hmm You really up for this? Uh yeah, I've already Prepping that cleared it out. Take off is gonna take me a few minutes. So first, we gotta clear the police station of hostiles. Done. I can't believe I'm doing this. Didn't I already eliminate the four? Okay, maybe there, maybe I missed one. We'll see. Hello? What? The heck? What was that? It's me on the roof trying to figure out where you are. We did it. <laughs> Somehow. Alright, alright. I guess I shouldn't complain when missions are mysteriously completed and I don't really know how. But you know what? That's fine. It's fine. There's something satisfying about taking out the, like, highly technological, you know, big fancy energy weapon power armor guys with a bat a baseball bat i don't mind it okay we good yeah, i sell some wheels or oh, oh, wings or whatever this is here's the deal after flight prep we take the vertebrate up to the bridwin and dock from the inside the blimp's vulnerable mm -hmm. to keep that baby afloat it's got massive gas bags full of high Ooh, it's like the uh the hindenburg it's kind of weird. Why would they do that? 
only gas light enough yeah that's true enough is good old number one on the periodic table mm -hmm. okay your job is tricky you got to find a way to place these explosives on the gas bags all right then get the hell back to our vertebrae make it to a comfortable distance then it's bye bye prep flight prep is going to take time and the brotherhood's not just going to give it to us okay so if paladin show up keep them off me and the bird one thing I, I feel like we should do which i know i can't do is you just like drop me off and then leave because i uh don't take fall damage ergo therefore hence i could just put the uh, put the bombs wherever and then just jump off my companions always seem to find a way to join me so you know so the yeah. manual said right the manual you never flown before where's the master switch you got a murder bird incoming uh oh Wait, should I be up here? Hurry up. We got a, something incoming. That's the microwave. Ignore that. Oh. Okay, I guess I gotta get out. Okay, I guess I don't have to get out. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. Who took that out? <laughs> I'm guessing one of my companions. I don't think any of them had a gun to take out a vertebrate that quick. Alright, you guys ready? I'll, I'll meet you up there, probably. Go, go, go. Go, go? What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Talk to Deacon. Okay. I gotta go talk to Deacon for a second, apparently. We're right in the middle of this vital mission. Time is of the essence. But Deacon... Oh, there he is. First things first. I picked up some Brotherhood goodies for you. Wow, well, didn't anyone ever tell you you look like uh, Bruce Willis? Tinker's ready for us on the bird. Let's go. Plasma rifle? Okay. I think I'm just gonna go with my bat. Look at this thing. It's pink. It's probably very off putting to them. Just this maniac with a with a pink baseball bat with like rockets on it and shit. Uh Yoke, this is not an egg at all. What are you talking about? shooting at me <laughs> you're doing fine maybe a little higher though I'm gonna recommend height <laughs> there you go <laughs> I feel like docking is gonna be harder than taking off all right well good luck good luck to us All right, final briefing time. Your colorful history with the Brotherhood. As soon as they spot you, it's game time. So maybe you can play the sneak card. I got you this stealth boy for what it's worth. Odds are you'll get me. Once that happens, I run my path. No, I'm just going in with a baseball bat. It's going to be one hell of a firefight. When we land, Tinker's going to keep the Vertebrate school for an immediate takeoff. Okay. Alright, well, I trust you. Uh oh. <sighs> Not a. Oh man, this is gonna suck because it's not like there's a save mid flight. Uh, not a auspicious start. And auspicious is a fun word. So at least we got that going for us. Yeah. Um, where is...
is the safe? I don't even know where this one is. Yeah, this might be a pain, depending on if we get up there or not. Because the flight is not... Okay, so I'm here. And what am I? Talk to Deacon. Okay. So we'll talk to him. I'll save. I'm a little worried about saving mid-air. Cool, thanks. More yeah, let's go. Um. All right, come on, baby. Uh, one thing I'm hoping is that, and I think I've, I, I know I've mentioned this before that sometimes we've had it where, like initially there was some uh, jankiness like that, some initial, initial crash early on, like like now it's 20 minutes in, and then we didn't have any more crashes, uh, for like hours and hours after that. And I think it might be because uh, when I first start is usually when any alt tapping is going to happen as I like move in and out of the game and like test things, test audio and stuff like that. So that's a theory. That's the theory that I'm working under. You know what? I should just like look somewhere where it's not as graphically intense if I can. Thanks. Um, again, I believe I'm just going to use my baseball bat. Cool. Well, I still trust you guys. I know I may have mentioned this before. I'm hoping that looking here, as opposed to outwards, is less graphically intense. <laughs> Assuming that has anything to do with crashing at all, it may not. He's getting the feel for it. Let him cook. It's like in uh, Rust. I used to, every time I flew a mini, uh, it would mean I would crash a mini. <laughs> Literally every time. But recently, I've gotten a little better. Uh, you know, I'm not landed on a dime necessarily, but uh, I'm definitely doing much better than I used to. <laughs> you know what? Uh, this is how I sort of compared it. Uh, it used to be 95% of the time I would in a journey from A to B via mini, I would crash somehow, either <laughs> getting there or landing and now it's 95% of the time I don't crash so, you know it's still not it's still not 100% but Say la vie. I don't know. Just shooting for fun. For funsies. Oh. Okay, I think we're almost there because this is the airport, right? Alright, docking procedures. Don't worry, I'm alright. Alright, we made it. Oh, just in time for a rad storm. <laughs> Desk scribe. Hey! Kill him? Uh, okay, well, I don't like killing scribes, really. But needs must. They know what they signed up for. My god. Oh, 
Boop. Beep. Bonk. Oh, a Lancer Knight. Uh, I wonder if we can find, uh, is it like raining indoors here? Got a leak. Okay, where am I going? Oh, there. The Elder Maxim Lions, whatever the hell his name is. Alright, maybe they're in here. On the main deck. The rain in the main deck falls mainly in the plain deck. Attention all Brotherhood soldiers. Uh oh, two back. Doctor? I'll come see you on the bridge. Repeat, if you have not Mess. Officer. Hello. Yes. Indeed. And you. Just kidding. I knew there was nobody in there. Oh. oh wow, that guy was tough. Proctor? Oh. Okay, you know what? I might bring you back. Because that's a shame. Shrelder, m m m Yeah, where is Elder? Scribe. Initiate. Gutsy. What the hell? <laughs> Why do we have that? It's like pets? Tuvok. I might take his hat. Pretty cool hat. Oh shit. Is that like a, like... Oh, there he is. Well, parts of him. Airship captain hat. Oh yeah, I want that for sure. Oh. Piper? <laughs> what are you wearing? I did not know that companions could do that. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like you in your tux, no dude. Yeah, open up. Oh, here, I'll get it. This might take me a second. It's a map. Oh, wow. Got it in one. Mm hmm. Tegan's armor. I don't steal. <laughs> After murdering the entire... Yeah, I don't steal. That's wrong. Uh, you like that power armor, Piper? I didn't even realize you could... Like, wear power armor. Alright, I think we're good to place these bombs. Did we ever meet up? Oh. Oh, well. I guess I feel kind of bad about that. Uh, let's see if we can bring Quillen back to life. I don't know if I'll be able to, though. Senior scribe. Where is he? Here he is. And if, even if I do, he might not like us too much. I'll tell you what, we'll take his armor and glasses, and that way if he does come back and he's pissed. Um, okay, I always forget how to spell resurrect. Is it, I think it's resurrect? Yep, I spelled that right. Okay, calm down, calm down. There's no need for this. 
you're a, uh, you know, a man of knowledge. Um, just be cool. Alright, alright, well, we gave him the opportunity. If he doesn't want to take it, not much I can do. Okay, explosives. 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 Now we should probably go. Boop. Hey, did we ever see Elder Maxim? Where's he kicking around? No? Okay. I'll show you what happened. Oh. Speak of the devil. Why can't I target this person? Oh, I think just because of that. And then... Boop. Beep. Ooh, I'll take final judgment. For Elder Maxim. Let me take your battle coat. Well, I'd say our work here is done, right? Anyone want a minigun? You don't want to put a helmet on? Eh, you know what, I don't blame you. You're looking good. Whew, all right, well, that was a hell of a battle. We killed the entire Brotherhood of Steel with a baseball bat. And to be honest, that feels kind of good. I'm in. Uh, my friends will catch up later. Whoa, who's shooting at us? It's so foggy out. I can't see anything. Oh. Yeah, we probably shouldn't be here. It's a star paladin. I don't even know what that is, but it's probably not good. I'm being shot repeatedly. Alright, alright. Oh no, are they coming after us? I kind of want to see the ship explode, right? We're out of the blast range now. Here goes nothing. Shit! Whoa. Whoa. That's a hell of a rest easy, glory. Oh yeah. For glory. Right? We'll pour one out for our homie. Oh, did that like block button? I thought it was hydrogen. Okay, well, I guess that's still a big explosion. <laughs> I think I see Dustworth like right there. Did I? Yeah, that is him. Here he comes. Dustworth, are you okay? <laughs> that is hilarious. Like just seeing him fly out of the giant either hydrogen or nuclear explosion <laughs> it's like he did it um, okay where are we going all right let's go <laughs> dustworth destroys the the brotherhood of steel good times Hey, we did it. I did it with a bat. Like a baseball bat. Can you believe that? I thought by calling Red Glare I'd lose more good people. Comrades. Nope. Thank you for keeping them and yourself safe. Oh, does not wanna? Thanks. Yeah, how's the church? Is it destroyed? The Brotherhood survivors will leave the Commonwealth on foot. But we're not out of the world. What if they want like revenge? The Brotherhood managed to find us. You can bet your ass the SRB is not far behind. We've yeah. run out of time. Our next step is to attack the Institute. Oh, okay, okay. 
Yeah, what's the plan? Go back inside the Institute and secure the relay. The instant you do, the Institute and the SRB will mobilize. Okay. So teleport us in quickly. We join forces with Z-114 and the Rebels since. Then together we fight our way to the fusion reactor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll win. Or die trying. Oh, okay, okay. well. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> Piper in your new power armor. Going on and you know. Trust me. All right, like what? The boys have been working on some new toys. Want to take a look? Okay, I haven't checked your. Made a new batch of. Checked your stuff in a long time. Doesn't seem like you have anything. Armored tuxedo? Are you getting me? Okay. Well, that's awesome. I'll take that. All right. What's the difference between these two, other than the the price, obviously? All right, that's good. Uh, okay, so. Before we go back, now that I know you, Piper, you like power armor, I got some really good stuff, I think, at home. Could maybe get you hooked up. I think I can get there from here. Uh, I got some new guns to check out. Maybe uh, soup them up a bit. I got to level up in my mind palace, obviously. But we're moving and grooving. And I like it. Um, okay, so... Hmm. Cool hat. Armored tuxedo. Very cool. Okay. Whoops. Oopsie Daisy is learning to crawl. She's such a different. How does that? What am I talking about? Where am I? Who are you? Dirty Wastelander. Melon. Nudes. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so what is this? The plasma. Maybe I'll see if I can soup that up a bit. Uh, okay, so what is this? I think it's like my... Uh, Catling laser. There you go. Fist. Yeah, okay, so I think the final judgment is like a, what is it? Is it? Yeah, it's like a Gatling laser. So I think what I would do is maybe switch it out. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Can I still use these? With the brother head? You know what? I don't trust them. Even if they do show up, they'll probably try to kill me, right? Um, okay, I think I might put that away and try out the experimental 18 A. Yeah. 
And, uh, yeah, so I got two things to soup up here. Uh, and then we'll get Piper sorted. You know what? I should check everyone. I haven't checked them in a while for, like, what sort of weird stuff they've picked up. Uh, store junk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a general, uh, how the hell did I do that? <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> I just, like, walked through the wall there. Oh, no. Why isn't that working? Sometimes that command doesn't work. Oh, no, am I going to be stuck? I guess I'm not. Alright, let's get crafting. If you wanted to make me a second printing press while you're at it. Can I make you a printing press? Oh. So probably an overcharge agitator is what we want to install here. Along with a that we'll keep stock. Yeah, compensate that recoil. I think I've been here before. Probably just a reflex sight. Yeah, let's do a reflex sight. And legendary. So, is there something plasma related? I think there might be. That's cryo. Cryo. There is something that adds plasma penetrating us. Oh, okay, wait. Yeah, why not that? Plasma infused extreme. Spelt with an X? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Alright, that looks like it's going to be fun. Oh, uh, and final judgment. Uh huh. Superior damage, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Excessive barrels. It's just like too many barrels, really. For a reflex sight, because why not? Muzzle? Better range. Huh? Yeah, just everything better. Uh, and we had, like, something with speed on the other one, right? Yeah. Was it nimble? No. Quick draw? No. Uh, yes. Rapid expert. <coughs> Alright, that's cool. Um, all right, so let's get her, you know what, I, I'm thinking I'm going to put her back in a tuxedo, Piper that is. Um, uh, Logan, how are you doing, my man? Let's see what you've, you make me carry all your junk? no, I'm going to take all the I'm junk you've been you picking up. up. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to be so aggressive with the, the bat there. Oh, wow, I haven't seen your face in a long time. <laughs> Um, oh, I took everything you had? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's for you. Wield that. Um, and then that's also for you. And... Were 
Were you wearing this? If not, you can have it now. Okay. Uh, and then let's ask who else? Uh, Does he live in this ain't? Piper? Let's trade Piper's some out. stuff. Tuxedo. Guess what I have for you? A armored tuxedo. How cool is that? Oh no, you need to take that off. How do I get her to take that off? Probably have something you can use. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I can't get her to take that off. It's like a layer down or something. Okay, okay. Well, where's Elvis and Dustworth? See what sort of stuff they've picked up. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Thanks, Piper. I knew you were Actually, yeah, take take off that uh, frame, whatever you call that thing. Okay, let me just like if I start going over here, maybe they'll show up. Uh, you know what we could do? Go in our little hide hill. That always brings them out. Bing bong. Uh, Elvis, do you. Hey there. Uh, Let's trade. Sure thing, bub. Bub. <laughs> uh, okay. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. And you're good. Hey. Thanks, Elvis. Keep up the good work. Uh, Dustworth? My body. Clearly wandered a good deal, <laughs> but I have an uneasy suspicion that my mind has not wandered enough. I don't know what that means necessarily, but it's interesting. What ho? What ho? And you got nothing on you. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me just check. My mind palace. Um, Fallout for how to get armor off companions. Uh, talk to them if you hit the action button at the bottom. Exit power armor. How do you get NPCs to exit power armor? How do you remove power armor from command? Talk to talk. Oh, okay. It says there should be an option. I mean, yeah, there should be. Is there though? You say the word. Hey, here. Something to keep sharp. Great, thanks. Oh, here you go. You got it. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you had no clothes on. Here, wait, wait, wait. Take a let's, look. let's get your armored tuxedo on. Hey, styling. And you know what? Profiling. <sighs> okay. All right, so let's just go back, get my last few things tucked away. Um, I think I'm good then. Oh, I, I do gotta put away all the stuff I just took off my companions, of course. Um, for example. Cool. You know what I think I might actually do after? I'm gonna go to Red Rocket. Um, 
Uh, because I want to see if uh, what's his nuts is gonna, you know, hate us and try to kill us. Alright, and I didn't do mess last time, so I'll do it now. Um, is there no. Do I not have any mods? Yeah. Mods and mess. Why can't I put these down now? I don't need them anymore. Bull. Total BS. Nothing here weighs anything, right? It shouldn't. Wow, we got a lot of fusion cores. Whew. Well, not that I'm complaining. Uh, let's have a little nap. And I think we're good. Vault 88 is under attack. Yeah, they got it. They're underground, right? Okay, I think we're good. How y'all doing? Good, good, good. Okay, so let's just make a brief pit stop. This is more of a curiosity pit stop, we practically call it. Just to see... Oh, wait, nine. I think there was ten people here. Like, are we going to arrive and he's going to be like, Hey, I heard what you did. Prepare to die. Or is he just gone? Or is he here? Hey, you guys see uh, br the Brotherhood... Oh, I can't remember his name. Brotherhood dude. Nice guy. Deacon, you're here. Preston's here. Alright. I guess he's not here anymore. Not too surprising. Come to me, my freaks. Come to me. Look at all these weirdos. <laughs> all right, all right, sorry, sorry. Back at it, back at it. The nuclear option. Nuclear. Oh, you know what? We are forgetting two other things. One is favoriting. Uh, favoriting and leveling. Uh, what was I just doing? I don't remember. I think it was up here somewhere. Oh, uh, heavy guns. And then one more. Alright. Cool beans. Speaking of beans. Oh, man. Sorry, sorry. I was just trying out my new gun. Zuh. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Why is the... Why is the ammo not going down?
There we go. So the ammo in this is more than a thousand. <laughs> and it's just using fusion cores, which holy shit. <laughs> All right, all right. And how do we look? Freaking badass. That's how we look. Uh, all right. Cool, 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 cool. The final judgment. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I know it's final countdown, but it still sounds pretty good. Okay. Oh, who does? Oh, hey, Jung Long, right? Jung Long, yeah. Been a while. You're looking good? Happy as ever? <laughs> Freaking guy. Good times. Alright. Uh-uh. Oh, hello. Yes. Yes. What? Where is it telling me to go? They got it. I, I trust them. It must make me proud to see all that father has done. Yeah, it's all great. It would be a shame if anything happened to it. Okay, I don't get it. Where where am I going? Here somewhere. I don't know. It looked like it was telling me to go into the elevator. I kind of don't know why, to be honest. That guy's usually working on the garden. Isn't that where I'm supposed to be going? Yeah. Hmm. This doesn't feel like right but we'll see i guess i don't know okay maybe he is in here hello everyone from what i hear that rogue synth of the battalion was a real menace oh hey that is, is it time long. once we you know it we have committed there will be no going back uh yeah it's time Good. we'll need to clear this room before i can do more okay well, let me just send a real good prayer to the great goddess before we kick this off. Let me get my giant gun out. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, sorry. Shit. Uh, I was distracted. My timer went off. It's a timer that I need to take a sip of water so that I don't die. One moment, please. Please give me a few moments. Thank you. Uh, yeah, can I help you? I didn't mean to shoot you there. It's just you're dressed the same, so... That's what I'm going to blame it on. Although I may have shot Piper as well. Wow, this gun like melted. Sorry, what? Your companions will arrive in a moment. Cool. Cool beans. Hey, welcome, welcome. You made it. You did it. There's no mm -hmm. going back now. If they 
they're not already on to us, they will be within seconds. Yeah, they probably are on to us. Like, it takes a lot of power to bring you here. Wait, Piper? A response would be appreciated. Let's free some sense. In a single hour, we could rescue more synths than we have in our entire history. Make every moment count. But first, take this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Tinker Tom's rigged it to take out the reactor and ah. anything else within a few hundred yards of it. Cool. We get you down there. You plant it. And we run like hell. When we get to a safe distance, we detonate it remotely. Then Love the that. whole institute goes up like a candle. And the synths stay free. Forever. This is the moment. I like it. Although I do feel like we could use a lot of this technology for our own ends. So, I'm torn in some regards. Alright, we're probably going to be like under attack soon, right? Uh, well, let me just double check what I'm doing. Breach the reactor. Alright. Breach the reactor. More like. With my new gun, well, I'm unstoppable, practically. Oh, I'm going through like the. Oh man, it's gonna be ghouls down here. Don't worry, I got him. I got him. Look at this freaking gun. Wait, why are the synths? They should be on my side, right? Hey. You gotta go for the fusion cores. You ever hear that? Um. All right. Well. Boop. Is someone present? Yeah, me. doing it. Oh, maybe don't stand there. Just a thought. Hello? A oh, railroad agent. I don't know if we've met. I'm the librarian. Boop. Beep. Oh yeah, definitely going to be more down here. So these are like this is what I'm going to assume to make myself not feel as bad. These early synths that we're killing here are like, you know, without sentience. Sentienceless, you might say. Right? Question mark? <laughs> Somebody help. Somebody help me! gun is crazy. Pew pew! Oh, that was a weird sound. Ricochet. Clear. Let me reload. I only had 500 bullets left. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I was gonna... Uh, I said last time? That episode? Time? Wait, who's... Somebody over here. 
that uh, I was going to use the Gatling laser for this. Uh, and then I ended up getting this much better Gatling laser, so that's fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Give this lady a hand, am I right? Oof. Alright, that was maybe a little uncalled for. I've got the bloodlust. That's what it is. Got a, I got a bad case of the bloodlust. Cased? Yeah, bad case. Attacking hostile. <laughs> God damn. You're badass. Oh, who the hell is this guy? Oh, an eradicator. The eradicator. We're hello, doing it. Hello? We're doing it. If you can hear me, I got the floor plan. Advanced systems lab. That's where the reactor is and where you gotta go. Okay. <sighs> but the doors are locked and I can't override from here. That can to come from the director's personal terminal. You understand? You've got to do that part yourself. Okay. Uh, I feel like they're probably tell the removal team to hurry. Get every one of our people out there. The human isn't actively hostile. Direct them to the relay room. The left five is the best. Alright, well I guess I'm going here. Um use the terminal to override. Okay, okay. Reloading. I feel like I'm gonna have a run in with my dad down here. Ha sha sha. Ha sha? Ha sha? Ha sha? Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Hello? Piper, are you coming with? Oh, here we go. Ding. Oh yeah, this is where the young Sean clone? I guess it's not really a clone, is it? Hello? Anybody home? Ah. Uh -huh. I didn't expect to see you again. You had me fooled. Oh, there you are. I really believe I know I'm a real trickster, aren't I? <laughs> are you sick? He said like hours ago that he has cancer. Yeah, I'm here to blow up the reactor. At least there's no need for guessing games now. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying Yes, everything? yes, that's right. Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go like a right, righteous pretense is what I'm using. Yeah, watch it, pretty. It's hard to believe I'm related to you. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task. Thank and you. Ruin humanity's best hope for the future. I don't the think that's true. The left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret, or did you just come to gloat? Uh, no, I, I actually just needed to use that computer over there. 
Yeah, help me. Why would I ever consider helping you? May as well. To protect your people. Very well. The terminal behind me. Enter access code nine. Uh, this that is a trick. Disable some of the sims. Now go. Just leave me. Okay. Let me give you a gift for all those birthdays that I missed. Oh, damn, I can't. Okay, I thought I could put a grenade in his pocket. <laughs> but I can't pickpocket him, so... Hmm. How come I can't put the code in that he just gave me? Or was he lying? It's okay, I'm, out. I'm a hacker, basically. Sometimes it takes me more than others, but eventually I'll slow down. Okay, so slow, it can't be that. Could be push. Could be ru- oh, could be ruin. Uh, engage evacuation protocol. And synth shutdown, I guess I should do that. Uh, security lockdown override and evacuation protocol. Hell yeah! Access granted. Now you should be able to reach the reactor. That's Tinker Tom. He's a good guy. Anyways, um, yeah, you know what? I'll leave you to it. No, I didn't just go in. <laughs> <laughs> what I thought was the exit. Okay, well, that made a slightly less dramatic uh, exit than I was hoping for. Oh. oh still fighting a little bit. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys ready? Let's blow this popsicle stand. What? I done shot his head off. Yeah, it does. Let's get to that reactor. What was that? Oh, yeah. I remember these were here. <laughs> totally do. Uh, yeah, it's me, the librarian. I'm uh, here to blow up the reactor. I don't know why I closed that door. It's fine. Stealth activity? I'm running with a giant gun here. Hello. <laughs> Go shooting that as, as it was falling off the wall. What makes that sound? Hey. Why am I on fire as well? Huh. 
Does this guy light me up? Hey. Oh, password. That's helpful. Alright, that one had the password on it as well, which is nice. Status, shut down, stream caution, of course, open sesame, mm -hmm. pulse charge, okay, let's vamoose. What are you doing, Piper? Oh, you know what? I closed my eyes that time. I s <laughs> oh my God. And I think that was the last... Oh, fuck, I didn't do it that time. <coughs> Never mind. He what? Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, okay. Really? Do you mean it? Yeah, why not? I'm glad you are here to save me. Ditto. Come along, my new son. Don't worry about the reactor. I'll worry about making sure this thing works when it's time to go. Okay. Attention all personnel. You got it. Oh, okay, you said right. Okay, we're, we're ready to get out of here. Uh, yeah. Don't have to tell me twice. It's all set to take you and Des to the detonation site. Then I'll rig it to send me and the kid here back to HQ right after. Don't worry, we'll cool. look after him. Get him some better clothes, too. Yikes. Well, the clothes Let's are kind of cool. I bet you they're Let's cleaner go. than your rags. Some offense. All right, we did it. Sayonara, suckers. And you know what? We got a new son out of the deal. You're going to be much better than my old son. Let's do this. Hello? Hello? Oh god, head towards the light. Ooh. Wow, this reminds me of... Um... Well, I guess that doesn't... Okay. I was gonna say, <laughs> but uh, in my Librarian playthrough, I didn't blow up Megaton because I'm not... A, the Librarian's not a monster, but this sort of is like... Where is it? I don't know where I'm looking exactly. Did we do it? Oh. It's, it's one of them double buttons. Kaboom! Nice. <laughs> There you go. It's a little screenshot for me. In my mind palace, that is. <sighs> Mission accomplished. I can feel it wash over me. The heat, the mm. force, the radiation. More like a little suntan. But like a scary wall, suntan. All over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. Everything can change. Mm. It's weird the suddenly having a voice again. Shifts, whether or not you're ready. At some point. Who the hell's that dog? It happens to all of us. It reminds me of Ringo the Flamingo a little bit. This wasn't the world I wanted. It was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart. Common poor, together. more like. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. I mean, I kind of did, in some regards. Oh, I, know. I know. Got a I new son. Go you won't be a jerk. Changed. Road ahead will be hard. 
This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. And what about uh, war changes all the time? I bet. Changes. Oh, I see. I thought it changed like a lot. Well, you know, that's kind of dumb because think of, say, I don't know, the War of 1812 versus the Vietnam War. I feel like they're both very different things. A lot of differences, a lot of changes, if you will. And so, a mighty mm -hmm. Dozens of years, countless sacrifices. But we did and it. So, a mighty Dozens of years. Countless sacrifices. It all paid off thanks to you. Hey, don't he mention it. This was his plan. Uh, we're not going to do this again. I was actually inside the. What's going on? If you say so, the mighty have fallen again. And so. Oh God. So those first two times were just like practice, right? For the speech you've been preparing. Deacon says this was his plan all along. What? How's that? Yeah, a little liar. It's almost comforting to know some things never change. In days gone by, when us old timers wax rhapsodic about life without the institute, we wax rhapsodic. Wow. Desdemona. Hate runs deep in the Commonwealth. Deeper That's some words, all right. To them, synths are the living embodiment of the institute's oppression. I'd understand if you want a much-needed vacation. But are you up for the next mission, Professor? I was born ready, as I have often said. Our safe houses will be bursting with synths, seeking a better life outside the Commonwealth. Okay. If everyone in the Institute died, we'd be foolish to think there won't be retaliation. Come back to the hmm. HQ and lead the last of our people to freedom. All right. I'm game. Nobody rescued enough of your people. I was actually inside the Institute. Hey, how are you doing? You're out of the Institute doesn't mean you're safe. Or the railroad's job is over. There's a lot of work ahead of us. But together, we'll get there. Cool. And I guess I should go talk to my son and stuff, probably. But overall, I'm very happy with how things have turned out. Oh, so sort of a nice night out, too. Where's the beautiful moon? It's behind this, maybe? La Loon. La Loon, we call it. In certain circles, when we can find where it is. Sometimes we can't find where it is. So we don't call it anything in those times. Uh, it might be behind a cloud or something. Oh, there it is. Behind a cloud. Mm hmm. Oh, this is going to be creepy when it's like eyes poke out. Yeah, imagine you're just looking at the sky. Oh, there's the moon. Oh. There's the moon. <laughs> All right. Now what? Eliminate the... Cool. I don't really need that. I don't do prize my grenades. Just lighten the load a wee little bit. Yeah, I guess what do we do now? Capture the drunken gnomes? Dead drop? You know, let's go to Diamond City. Yeah, I would decide. Oh, you know what? Let's go to the railroad and talk to our son. And then go to Diamond City. I feel like that's a good uh, good way to sort of open up our horizons in this new world we have formed. Hey, how's it going? Dad, I was so worried. I thought I'd never see you again. Is yeah. it true? Did you really blow up the Institute? Sure did. Why would you do that? Well, they sucked. Yeah. Are you okay? I mean, I'll miss them. But if it means everyone else will be safe, as long as you don't leave me, it'll be okay. You're, cool. You're not going to leave me. Nope. Right? 
Yeah, I'm here for you. Okay. Oh, before I forget, Father, uh, he told me to give this to you. I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what it says. Oh. But I think it's important. Hmm, Sean's hollow tape. Okay, um... I feel like you should live at the Red Rocket with all my other freaks. No offense. Sean's hollow tape. <laughs> if you are hearing this, then whatever conflicts you and I have endured are over. I have no reason to believe that you'll honor the request I'm about to make. Ooh, a dying request. I feel compelled to try anyway. Okay, okay. Since this boy, he deserves more. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. Hmm. It is my hope that you will take him with you. Okay, well. I would only ask that you gonna do that anyways. So yeah. The chance to be part of whatever future awaits the Commonwealth. Alright, hey. If humans make sense, who makes humans? Like you and me. Uh, it's just a sort of a biological process. Oh Sean, okay, yeah, perfect. Uh so you're gonna like living with all these weirdos. It's gonna be great. Okay. Yep. You're just gonna walk there yourself, I guess? From here through the dangerous commonwealth with super mutants, ghouls, people who want to kill synths on sight, ch children of Adam, robots, death claws, mole rats. He'll be fine, I'm sure. My son that I'm just letting walk there by himself terrific good you're here i'm here the institute out of the picture we're secretly securing key locations to speed up transporting synths out of the commonwealth we well can't they just live here now steady, so once they're out they're safe for the rest of their lives yeah let's do it fast we're not alone in that sentiment but we still have enemies out there so we move them carefully and their identities will remain secret Okay. Sam or Carrington undoubtedly could use your help. No rest for right. the wicked. Yeah, uh, let's see what Pam's saying. These are probably uh, oh, everyone's everyone's tuckered out <laughs> after our uh, after our work there. With something else. Thanks, Pam. Organization Brotherhood of Steel removed from the Commonwealth mm -hmm. production equations. Corollary: the remnants of said organization. Have oh. into a highly unpredictable subset of human actors. That's not great. Success of railroad operations at solution. Okay. Remove brotherhood variables. All right, how do we deal with them? A patrol has been spotted and identified. Clean equation. Okay, I feel like these are just like radiant quests. We should stop by a bar. Grab ourselves a drink. All right, you know what? You're right. We'll go to Diamond City. Uh, who else did she say I should talk to? I think she said to talk to somebody else, but I don't know who. We did do it. We're the best. Uh, okay, so let's go to... Diamond City. Beautiful. We'll start on the market. We'll just sort of, uh, you know, shake things loose a little bit. See what happens. Maybe pop in, say hello to Nick. Might not be a bad idea. He's probably curious what's going on around here. Um, we should maybe find somewhere to sleep since I think it's nighttime. Security. Nobody's seen him in days. Yeah, curious. Nope. Wasn't really listening. <laughs> How did everything go with the Nakano case? Oh yeah, I haven't told you about that. I found her their daughter, yeah. That's great. 
We don't often get to bring people good news. It's a nice change of pace. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming in for this one. I knew something good was happening when you and Nick started working together. You know it, Ellie. Don't be a stranger, Gumshoe. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're giving our friend here all the credit. Just keeping well, you on your toes, Nick. I did most of the work, so yeah, of course. And the people of the How Commonwealth slept soundly. But the greatest monster was gone. Oh, you know about that, eh? A lot of guts to do what you did. I know it couldn't have been easy. Mm-hmm. Had to be done, though, right? You'll get no argument from me. It's hard to even wrap your head around. A world without the Institute. Lurking in the shadows. Cool, right? But that's the life the people of the Commonwealth will get to lead now. All thanks to you. Mm-hmm. Sarcasm. You know, I dare say you've done enough. This is a brave new world you ushered in. But I suppose it'll do. Cool beans. Again for closing out Time to hit the case. road? You never know where some of the hard ones are. Um, not right well, this second. Be around if you change your mind. Alright, so we can't, yeah, I can't get him as a companion. But I think Piper might have some companion stuff too. Oh, I should have sat somewhere. Okay, wait. Well, let's see what this guy's up to. Painting. Painting this green... Ooh, it's huge. It's like a monster. Don't touch the paint. I won't. It's okay, Abbott. I got my eye on this one. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Thinking you hmm. need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. Why do I need that? I just, like, saved the Commonwealth. So I'll say maybe. You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Hardware Found Town? A store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? <laughs> um, yes. Much obliged. <laughs> hundred caps. I was like... You're not an idiot. Thanks? No, I, I didn't mean like... I could just use some help. This isn't oh. the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue. Issue. Okay, what's sister, the problem? Nat. Becoming me. Oh, uh, I get you. And you don't want that. But you're cool, so why don't you want that? I'm just terrified she's going to start taking up like her big sis. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety. Wait, why do you call me Blue? Like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister, dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the hmm. reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking, maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her, enough, hmm. she'll just. I feel like she's more likely to. Sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl all-around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? Hmm. Yeah. Can't change her. And love her. You're right. So. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? Really mm, I like would kind of expect more. it. I meet all sorts of cool people You're that journey with me for a time. Let's flirt again. That's fun. Uh, well, but I thought I thought so. Unless, you know, something changes. God, did it get hot in here? But hey, we're outside. Thanks again for listening. <laughs> it's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you wanna hit the road? Yes, yes. I want to hit the road. Okay, so we can get paint. So that's the most exciting thing in the world. Uh, you know, let's just sit here and wait for day. And uh, maybe the city will, will be a little more lively in, say, three hours. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Everyone's... Oh, maybe they're all synth. They all just got up simultaneously. You see that, guys? Kind of creepy. All right. 
Anyone of interest here? Nuka Cola. Sheffield. I think I already gave you one. I don't actually have any on me either, sorry. Did you hear? They say the railroad took on the institute and won. Whoa. Crazy, right? That is crazy. Whew. Who who ever heard of such a thing? Who's this? Oh yeah. I'm gonna hack this iBot. Come with me. You're gonna be and you know what? I want you to do whatever uh Dustworth says you're his servant now. All right, so you hear that, Dustworth? Don't let down the home team by a squatter. Did you see the explosion? That's I did. It's crazy. I already bought a swatter. <laughs> Ammunition. Sorry, I don't mean to make fun. Alright, maybe there's not as much to do here as I thought there was. Just assume, assumed. Selling papers is busy work, mister. Alright, well, I'll take one. Hey, mister, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Oh, thanks. Ain't got nothing better to do. <laughs> Piper? Why Man, if I... Never ink spot song is exactly the same. Is there every inks? Hmm. You can talk to the mayor, maybe? I haven't talked to him in a long time. It's the Hawthorne residence? Wellingham, the best you ever made. Thank you, sir. It, it was no effort whatsoever. Oh. I think that guy's making uh, Deathclaw omelets or something, right? How do I get up there again? This is probably not the way, but it may do. Oh, look at the view from up here. Um, you think I can make that? Nope. But it's not my fault. There was perhaps an invisible wall there. Yeah, we'll go talk to the mayor. See if he needs any any help around town. Wait, isn't that the mayor right there? Alright, we'll go to the mayor's office. See if he needs any help around town. Boop. Hello. Something, honey? Housing permit? Looking for a job? Yeah, what sort of work you got? Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check the wanted posters in the market. All right. Uh, how about a housing? We permit? have one home available. It's in the center of town. You can do whatever you like with the interior and all the tools you need to make your own first. Oh, okay, I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. Hmm. Thanks, Geneva. I love your convention. Oh, you know what? Thank you. All right, I'm gonna hop down and see the mayor there. Boop. He went this way. I guess he does sort of often greet new people. Is that something a mayor would do? Something a Walmart greeter would do? Uh oh. Okay. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Oh, maybe he did go this way. Oh, there you are. Mayor, wait. Oh, no, he's going to go up there before I... Oh, God damn it. It's fine. Um, okay. Next.
One more. I think I might need that too to build things up. Could be wrong. All right, why don't we just uh, do some exploration? I feel like that's good. Yeah. Finished uh, our sort of main object objective. Maybe it'll be nice to do some uh, relaxation. Yeah, you know what? Let's. Uh, we, we, we've had a lot on our plate. We've taken a lot off of our plate. Hmm. Hello? Settler? So maybe it would be nice if we just sort of relaxed for the rest of our, uh, rest of our day. Did some exploration. Went to Krupp Manor, for example. Did I hear Settler? It's sort of puking or something? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think goes on at Krupp Manor? Help defend the checkpoint. What checkpoint? The checkpoint. Wait, didn't I already help these people once? I think I did. I'm helping, I'm helping. Oh my god. Deathclaw. Albino even. Hm. Hey, we did it. You guys okay? What is? What's a real blow f for the railroad? I thought we did good there. Alright, alright. Way to make me feel bad. <laughs> Weird. Uh, no, depending on that. Um, Okay, yeah. Okay, to Croup Manor, as I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted. I mean, it wasn't that rude. It was an albino. Oh, that was weird. Albino Deathclaw. Um, literally just saved. Seconds before crash. Which, I don't know, on the one hand, great. On the other hand,. Is it somehow my saving caused a crash-like state? Mm. Bad if true. It's interesting because we did have a few crashes in this area before. In this little peninsula. Something on this peninsula is not liked. Mongrel. Wild. Alright, what do you think goes on at Croup Manor? Creepy, those creepy bloody birds. Creepy bloody birds, creepy bloody birds. That's hard to say. Not as hard as Toy Boat, of course. Alright, well, didn't work out great for that person. Or they died doing what they love drinking in a small box. Either way. We've discovered Krupp Manor and its denizens of ghoulish. Oh. That's kind of weird. 
Oh, okay. So yeah, this is the perk I just added. So 10 defense. Right? How am I reading this? It's got a thousand radiation defense. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. That one was like doing a little jig and it was it threw me off, I guess. Where are they? You know what I could do? Well, there might be someone in there that I need to talk to or something, right? I was gonna say, I could just like blow this place freaking sky high, but you never know. Oh, okay. Never mind. Still one below. You guys got that one below? I hope. So what's going on at Croup Manor? Oh. I'm getting rads. Is that from below or is it something behind this door? Let's find out. It was something behind the door. Oh, you fell down. Basement key, okay. Boop. Super mutants decorate this place. I got Mr. Turnquist's password. That's pretty cool. I think I've got maybe three or four more passwords if we ever want to go back to um Whatever, it's like a bank or something. Some such. I think we got some half decent stuff last time. Uh -huh. Oh, come on, who are you trying to get here? <laughs> I Fisty cuffs. Don't worry, we got them. Ooh. A miniature nuke. A miniature nuclear device. And a paintbrush. And a fancy hairbrush. Hmm, la dee da. Alright, I'll read that in a second. Oh, that guy just had a hairbrush. You think there was some jealousy there? Among the uh, feral ghouls? That one had a hairbrush, and one had a fancy hairbrush. And if I hadn't have come down here to, you know, dispose of them, such as it is, uh, they would have eventually come to blows. Jesus, I want to go. Extra attempt. Oh, that's interesting. And, you know, I'll take it for poops and giggles. A hacker's ring. A gymnast ring. Oh. Let's see what's going on with Theodore Croup. 
When my father said that nothing could change the Krupp family dynasty, not even the crippling debt from a bad stock market trade, he apparently didn't think about a world flooded with radiation poisoning. <laughs> Let me back up. When I watched the mushroom clouds rising, I thought that it was someone's sick joke. I prayed for something to wipe away the debt, but this was not what I had in mind. But I'd take a blue-collar lifestyle over having the majority of my facial features slide off in my sleep. Gross. <clears throat> well, it could be worse. I locked the rest of the family in the basement and hid the key. Couldn't bring myself to kill them. They may be disgusting monsters, but that's still Aunt Belinda in there. I've started to find that there are other survivors out here. Some of them look like Roadkill too. Oh, I guess he was a ghoul. Uh, they all killed the ones that turned into monsters and started trying to kill us normal ones. Weird thing I noticed, none of the pharaohs seem interested in attacking those of us falling apart. Mm -hmm. Okay, it worked. I went into the basement and the rest of the family didn't try to kill me. Actually, they kind of ignored me. But that's not the point. The point is, the old world is dead. Everyone is back to square one. Our debt is gone, and we could start over. Look, if I could still talk and function and act like a normal human being, then so can they. No, actually. Uh, they just need a little nudge. The Krupp family will be back on top in no time. Unfortunately. That's not how it works. Hundreds of years. Hundreds! I can't fucking die. None of us can. I've spent hundreds of years trying to teach these creatures how to act human. I've got nothing to show for it, except maybe my cousin James can spot the difference between a salad fork and a regular fork. Oh, pretty good. Can't be sure he's not lucky. How the hell are we supposed to be the affluent socialite croup family again if we're all monsters? This is pointless. I swear to God I'm going to bust in Aunt Belinda's head if she doesn't listen to me. You just watch. Yeah, we learned in other lore somewhere along the way that, unfortunately, when you are a feral ghoul, um, your brain has melted. And, and I think they even use the term melted in what we read. So, with a melted brain, you know, it seems unlikely that, uh, yo-ho-ho. Uh, it seems unlikely that you could teach him anything, right? Alright, well, that was Krupp Manor, and there's no denying it. Cool. Uh, let's move on to... Ooh. Uh, 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 Nahant? Is that how you would say that? Go into Nahant's chapel, and we're... Probably not going to get married, or though all of us could, in some sort of more than a thruple. How many of us are there? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Should we make a settlement here? It's kind of a nice little spot. Oh, it kind of looks like a move there. Hmm. Yeah, it still does that weird tree thing where you gotta do it twice. I don't know, could we make this? I'll get rid of the mannequin for sure. Could we make this, um,. Look nice, do you think? Would it even be possible? I'm not saying I'm going to. We have our forever home in Hangman's Alley, of course. But, you know, kind of nice. A little fence over here, yeah. Alright. We'd have to get rid of all these ghoul bodies. That goes without saying. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, that was more just curiosity than anything. Should I put a beacon? Do we care? No, not really. Okay. Back at it. Oh, uh, let's switch guns up a bit. Boom, bing, boom, boom. Be doop. Be doop. Hey, you know, let's go big guns for a bit. Let's blow the hell out of things. Plus, we got so much shotgun ammo. It kind of makes me uh, lean towards using it. Huh, what am I seeing down here? Oh, barbecue. Oh, there's a boat there. Should I go scope it out? Wait, what are you seeing? You seeing something? If you see something, say something. Alright, I'm gonna go check that boat out. <laughs> blue soup. I, I kind of don't know why she calls me blue, to be honest. I, I don't hate it. I don't love it. Blue is, you know, favorite color. Sure. <laughs> hey, who's that? I saw somebody over there. You guys see that? It's like a person walking by. Friend or foe, I don't know. Whoop! Jesus! <laughs> that spooked me, man. That sound? My god. <coughs> I mean, I had my big guns out, and I two-shot a Mirelark Queen, so... <laughs> I shouldn't be too spooked, but... It was, like, right beside me. Right in my... Right in my ear holes. Whew. Yikes. Okay, what's going on in here? Fungus. The fungus among us. I'll take a burnt buck. Oh, nobody living in the chapel? I guess it's pretty run down. Huh? <laughs> Isn't it weird when you, like, Do something that was a quest in your Pippa boy and you don't remember and it just sort of pops up oh you did the thing check it off it's a nice thing about a pip boy you kind of don't uh, it, you don't have to pay as much attention and it's almost like it's a uh, oh so you were a not nice person oh it looks like you're almost dead Thank you. Lock and load. It's like an extension of your memory. Like, in is that what... Hmm. Is that what people are going to use... Oh, repeat. Sorry, I have to take a sip of my drink. Like, when I think of... Um, like brain integrated chips, neural links, if you will. Is that. Oh, minute, man. Bastards. Is that, um, like its primary use? Just in a. a like a memory extension? I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is I certainly wouldn't be volunteering to be the first one to get a neural link that is insane especially from a certain piece of shit yeah you know who. Oh, what was that sound oh. 
I don't think I, it made it into the water. I wanted to see the water go blue. Like that. Alright, so that was the church. Oh. Ocean, oceanological. I know what that word is and what it means, but I have difficulty saying it. Oceanological. Oceanological. Okay, we're going to go to the Oceanological Society, which is, of course, this away. <laughs> Got to be Marlux over here, right? In an oceanological society? You gotta assume Mirelurks. Oh, maybe this is the people who created Mirelurks. We're gonna learn of that. I assume they were created. Like, they don't seem like they're naturally occurring, do they? What's that? This place looks peculiar. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird. You don't get Elvis chiming in like that very often. I wonder what he finds. Hmm, everyone's got a little comment, don't they? Logan, you want to say something? No? <laughs> hmm. I missed the force button for these. Because I'd like treat it like a little mini game. Like you try to force it, and then that'd be like I don't know, gambling. Oh, the instructor. Can you? Uh, don't suppose you can. It's not unconscious. Okay. Information updated. Approximately 97% of all life on the planet is found in the sea. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. You hear that? What else you, what else you got? The Nahat Oceanological Society. Hmm. Well, the fact that he can talk... The fact that he can talk makes me think maybe there was a way to get him up and running. Which is interesting. <laughs> New socks. Oh, maybe this would have brought him back. Wait. Office keys. Can't find the keys to your office, and they need to print out more of the sign-up sheets and info pamphlets for the harbor blockade. Did you leave them in the ship again, Jim? Research logs. Logs. Lobster growth. This is insane. An increase in average maths by 14% in crabs and 12% in lobsters. It's not something to sell to be celebrated. If this trend continues, the additional food necessary to just sustain the self shellfish population could lead to colony collapse. I've tried again to bring our findings about the growth mutations to the press, and those assholes at GNN just l took our finding and spun them into a story about how great shellfish season is going to be. Increased toxicity. This is the fourth month in a row that we have seen a continued increase in toxicity in barnacles. Ah, barnacles. And cod. Uh, this raises the average month over month increase to 34%. Okay, so. It seems like. This is very strange. One of the colleagues sent us a sample from Lake Quinnipowet asking for independent verification to compare against his findings. The radiation toxicity levels are 15 times higher than the sample we had from last year and well over safe levels for people to be swimming. Hmm. So are these logs from before the bombs dropped? I mean, a lot of the stuff we find in logs is... <laughs> Guys, I'm having trouble. Um... And I ask because, so where was the toxicity coming from? Grant recipients ring. Luck and intelligence. Alright. 
think we've explored this. Good luck to you, oceanological instructor. You hang in there. <laughs> hey, take a look at this. What? <laughs> Piper, are you playing with me? You're just messing with me. All right, all right. Well, let's get out of here. Excuse me. <coughs> oh god. I guess it's all the uh the dampness. Oh well, okay, this one oh. This one is tricky. It is a master lock. Oof. <laughs> Soap. Yeah, we could all use some soap after, you know, mucking around down on that stuff. Uh, okay, cool. Now we got a secret cave. That's pretty exciting, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Probably my lurks, right? All this uh, stuff is sort of giving me strong Mirelurk vibes. Just the location, location, location. Where? Oh, is it this? Oh. Oh, you guys are already in here. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. Why does this have me nervous? Well, I got my big gun. Uh, hmm. Wait, is that a vault uniform? Or is it just blue pants? <laughs> shovel? I'm going to take a shovel. Oh, wait. Vault. Interesting. Vault stuff. Okay. Vaults 111, presumably. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm not going to remove that in case it's powering this. Oh, shit. Guys, did we just find a vault? In a secret cave? Vault 83. What the hell is Vault 83? Huh. Well, we're going to goddamn find out. Uh, I guess, should we presume Mario Lurks? Whoop. <laughs> well, Logan, are you okay? I don't know how you did that, but it was impressive. Alright, everyone out. Hmm. Okay, and so far nothing but dead bodies, which is not ideal. Peeling paint. Oh, I see a key. A depot key. Reception. Uh, welcome to Vault 83. Vault 83 timeline. Uh, Vault 83 was sealed in 2077. Released in 2245. 168 years. Five overseers. 150 people living inside. Uh, vault released because of emergency due to long term duration of system runtime. Key records have been stored and sorted by year. Interesting. Okay, so 2077, that's when the bombs drop. Uh, well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to handle a literal end of the world situation. Outstanding effort from all departments and specifically our reception staff who managed to get the last few inhabitants down in the nick of time. Ports confirmed all seals are in place. Ventilation is working. Elevator is offline. We're showing green across all systems, people. Okay, well, it seems like they had some good luck. Uh, so this is... With heavy heart that I announced the passing away of Overshear Lister. So I guess that was the first one. 
As many of you will no doubt be aware, the Overseer has been suffering from his illness for a number of years now, but takes solace in the fact that he has passed away peacefully, surrounded by loving friends and family. Uh, <laughs> so this is 2107. It was with heavy heart that I announced the passing of... Oh, oh no. I already did that one. 2137. Get to perform all the tragic passing of Christopher Miller. Mo took on the role of overseer. Uh, able to reinforce the morals and values. Oh boy. How do I go to the next page? Oh, enter. Uh, services will be held on Sunday. Uh, okay. Alex Winters. Wait, wasn't that the name of, uh... Uh... Hmm. Problem has been detected in the system and has been shut down to prevent damage. Echo to your terminal. Hmm. Let's see about BIOS memory options. <laughs> okay. Ping local. Okay, something happened there. Restart your terminal. Press F8 to select advanced startup options. Fifth Overseer. Okay, we're starting to get some corruption of Vault Citizens. May I have your attention, please. We're in a state of emergency. We are required to evacuate the vault immediately. Please, can security escort everyone to the elevator with priority given to the children and elderly? Please exit calmly. Overseer Thomas. Okay, but we don't know what the uh, reason for the season was. I guess we could still guess Mirelex, although, how would they get in? Right? Sorry, like an invisible. Oh, hilarious lavatory. By order of the oh, Jesus. <laughs> it spooked me. Synths. I was not expecting synths. Why is the bathroom locked? Have we ever seen in all of our travels a locked bathroom stall like this? I don't think we have. That's sort of weird. You must die now, human. <laughs> you must die now, human. What the hell? Jerk. <coughs> Showers. Don't drop the soap. Hmm. Okay, so what's the deal? Did synths get in before or after? Was the emergency synths? Very curious. <laughs> oh, I have the key to this. Hello. Maybe we'll uh, we'll get down. Uh, you know what? We'll get to the uh, classic. Get to the overseer's office. Well, how old are synths? Like, how long have they been around? Because these. Oh, nice. Sorry, I didn't mean to be ex so excited about the jumpsuit. Uh, I love collecting vault jumpsuits. Um. Yeah. How long have synths been like a thing? Because these people have clearly been dead for a long time. Curious. I'm in. Reduce falling damage. I don't take falling damage because of my delightful pants. Oh, all right. Uh, I'd like to sing a little ditty, if I may. <coughs> Just kidding. Unless it is your birthday, in which case, happy birthday. Hey. Uh, 
that's something we do in our family. Instead of like calling people and singing happy birthday, we call them and just go ha, and then like we don't sing the song because you know the song and it's annoying to be sung to. Is there one like right out there, guys? Bank shot. Oh, ow. Okay, I didn't really bank it so much as just blow us all up, but still, yeah, but still. Okay, if one comes up here. Uh, okay, so there's the evacuation order. Yeah. Let's see what these reports were. Mata is a pleasure to teach. She, uh, okay, yeah. She's always polite and listens well. She occasionally participates during class and seems to be well liked by other students. Okay. Is there a little Johnny? Oh, no. Rebecca. Rebecca is a very bright girl. I feel she just needs to put as much effort into her math homework as she does with her English. She's a very keen. Re okay, so these are just sort of like normal. Which one's a jerk? Oh, FFF. I was often taught as a young age that if you have nothing good to say about someone, then you shouldn't say anything at all. Leonard has nice hair. <laughs> Lenny. Lenny Hoffman. Oh, this person is exceptional pupil. All right. I want to meet Lenny Hoffman here. I'm not trying to remain undetected. I'm just here in the classroom. Oh, a barber? Hmm, why is the barber locked? Attacking enemy. For you. Attacking enemy. Barber terminal. Why does the barber have a terminal? Uh, Leonard Hoffman. Speaking of Lenny. All right, we got to find what happened to Lenny. I feel like. Uh, vault atrium key. Hostile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, how are you shooting me? Oh, it's really great to be. Well, how did I? Is this not a glass? It kind of looks like there's yeah, there's like dirt on it. All right, well, you never know, right? Bolton board. Okay, I guess we'll check the Bolton board. Still no real clues to what happened here. Yeah, we're well, having karaoke night. Obituaries. I passed away peacefully at eighty nine. Weird, eh? Research hydroponics. Oh, maybe it's plant creatures. I need Casey's. Okay, how do I get down here? Hmm, <laughs> saucer. We'll take a cherry. Okay, I guess we're not uh, getting into this deeper into this vault. What do you need, kid? Um, I need to get in here. I could forbid a magic then. Okay, well let's just go up and see if we uh, see anything. <laughs> They're like right below us, I guess. <laughs> Calm down. I think these synths would be a lot uh, 
a lot more chill if they just didn't want to kill everyone. Just relaxed a little bit. Hmm. Got some nice antiques. Anyone want a beer? Okay, well, I'm starting to think that maybe elsewhere uh, in this realm is someone who has the code or the key now I understand you are hiding because you fear death oh, so many jumpsuits um if they return i will be ready and then i'll have to come back here alternatively forbidden magics what do you guys think uh, you know what i kind of lean forbidden magics just so that i don't have to leave and come back but i think what i'll do is just like Pick up this tuxedo. Okay, no. Plasma. All right, all right. I guess, uh, I guess not. So it was like up top. I'm not gonna go up top. I am gonna go down. Oh wait. Could be in the safe. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, if it's not in the safe, we'll forbid it magics. It's not in the safe. Alright. No, you can't keep me out, as we're about to witness. I do kind of want to check. Like, what is this vault? I don't, um, <laughs> some invisible thing there won't let me buy. Hostile sensor reading detected. Is someone present? Yeah, it's me. Movement detected. Curious. Let me in, let me in. Hello, hello? Are you attempting an ambush? All right. Why? I had another time where that was not working. And I don't care for it. TCL. No clip. My sensors need calibration. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. I have another one. I have another one. <laughs> What about me? Oh. Hmm. Still things below us. It would appear my target has disappeared. Mm, yeah, it would appear that way. Okay. Patient records, joint pain, joint swelling, anti-inflammatory drugs, okay, so nothing too weird, pain relievers, got migraines, very common, yeah, so far, like, depression, bullying, suck it up, buttercup, <laughs> like, everything we've seen is just, like, just sort of normal, like, nothing weird, none of the normal weird vault tech type stuff it's just sort of like people li people lived here they did normal everyday things they went to chapels apparently hmm seems like maybe they died kind of suddenly like was that guy doing a terminal or doing a sermon of some sort 
Vault 83 maintenance key, okay. Odd. My scanners must be malfunctioning. That is odd. Engaging hot technical failure. <laughs> that one spooked me a bit. Yeah, it is kind of creepy in here, isn't it? Raiders? <laughs> Did you say raiders? These aren't raiders, I hope. Yeah. These are, uh, you know, synths. You know all those things we've been dealing with for a long time? Not raiders? I must end your existence. I must end your existence. Yikes. Where is that one that says that it's going to end my existence? I don't care for that. Oh. oh. Overseer office key. That one is definitely moving. <sighs> hmm. Almost like a barracks in here. I don't like to think that there was babies in here. It's a resident. <coughs> the perfect morning workout. What's going on here? I'm only one in this vault concerned with physical fitness. I can't believe you guys. Three weeks, my workout regime has been posted. And I'm only one up at 5.30 working those glutes. <laughs> What's going on here? Shut up, Greg. <laughs> Yeah, shut up. Nobody likes you. Oh, okay. Well, I feel kind of bad. The first one was funny. You're adopted, Greg. Okay, that one's back to funny again. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, rip Greg, right? I mean, probably literally. Ha sha sha. There you are. Do these guys not know that I blew the institute up? Come on, right? Hmm. Yeah, definitely seems very sudden. Um, it was a what was it again? A maintenance key I needed. say this is <clears throat> sufficiently explored oh yeah it was this one is that what the, i think that was the overseer key i got okay overseer well there you go uh, okay and this is where we often find answers overseer type stuff ha 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 all right Mm-hmm. Vault tech, yes. Unlocks by the terminal. Okay. Maintenance key, yeah, we need that. Terminal passcode. Okay. Okay. Maybe in the maintenance somewhere is the passcode. You okay, Elvis? What's wrong? He's fine. All right. Got him. What the hell's that? You guys see that blue glowing ball of light, right? Is it a portal? God damn, it looks like a portal.
Memo to Overseer. Good morning, Overseer. Seem to be having unusual electrical disturbances down here in maintenance. At first, I thought the problem had something to do with our generator, but it's not. Power levels are perfectly normal. The disturbance is in the form of electrical bolts and sparks that have started to materialize in the corner of the room. If I didn't know any better, I would say that it was like some kind of electronic interference from another power source. At present, there doesn't seem to be any real threat to life. In fact, all it's done so far is make everybody's hair stand on end. I just thought I would make you aware of the situ uh, situation, Casey Miller. <laughs> Uh, the static I've observed seemed to be condensing into the corner of the room. Myself and Jason have never seen anything like it. The static is beginning to take on a sphere-like shape. Readings only indicate fluctuation in room temperatures, and the lights in our area of the vault have begun flickering. Me and Jason, Jason and I, will take turns monitoring this phenomena. Dun, 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 dun. Um, Jason had an idea to set up a radio receiver near the ball of static, and to our surprise, we began to receive fragmented audio mixed with white noise. The audio seems to be bits of a conversation between different groups of people. It's going to sound crazy, but I'm almost positive one of the voices said the name Rebecca Miller. My little cousin? I'm going to go report this to the overseer in person. My little cousin who's an adult, because that's time travel stuff, and that's in the future. You guys want to go to the future, probably, maybe? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think we should. Um, Alright. Well, this is definitely a pray to the good goddess before we do anything really dumb in the situation. Oh, great goddess Alexandria. Hello? Okay. <clears throat> it would seem that my prospects have become quite dire when me and Casey first discovered the doorway, for lack of a better term. It was exciting. We both materialized in Vault 83, but from a different moment in time. Everything was new, clean, and even the air smelled fresher. We made a handful of trips back and forth just to observe the phenomenon, uh, never really touching anything, the law of causality and all that. Mm -hmm. First thing we noticed was a lack of vault personnel. That is to say, there aren't any here. But what makes that even more eerie is there is evidence of people being here. Sometimes we would hear footsteps, a door open only for nobody to enter. A glass of water that was half full, one mountain would be finished the next. Hmm. Casey, Casey hypothesized that wherever we are in time, it seems to be stuck between one moment and the next. Interesting. Uh, we don't see anyone because they're operating at a higher vibration than either me or Casey. When it was time to go back, Casey went before me, and when it was my turn, I was surprised to find my face hit the vault wall pretty hard. For some reason, it's not letting me return. I fear I may be stuck here for quite some time. Uh-oh. Well, we don't want to get it. I fear this is the last thing we'll ever write. I have been shot. <laughs> Fuck, it hurts. Casey, if you read this, do not go upstairs. I was taking some food from the kitchen this morning when I started hearing voices. I poked my head around the atrium to find men searching around the place. Casey, they were not human. Their voices were the same electronic voices we heard over the ham radio. What's worse is they were talking about Rebecca again. I don't know why these people came from Casey, but they seem almost obsessed with our little cousin. If you read this, know that I love you all very much, and please keep Rebecca safe. Oh, that's kind of sad. This terminal doesn't work. Okay, so this has got some like Terminator vibes, right? Like, robots sent to the past to kill Rebecca for something she does in the future? Do we know who this Rebecca is? Regardless, we're going upstairs, right? Lock and load. Now, the one thing I will say is we did pray to the great goddess Alexandria right before hopping in there, so if this all goes horribly awry... 
curious. Who's this guy, probably? Oh, done shot his arm off. I sure earned my money with that one. Hmm. Inaccessible. Inaccessible. Okay, okay. Um, I f oh, that clock. Well, it was being, is it being put up? Like, it, it, no one has put it up yet? Oh. <laughs> okay. I, th I think Logan just kicked it by mistake. Mm-hmm. Okay. Terminal note. Overseer, please find and close your unique passcode. Okay. Uh, as soon as the terminals are all of activated, should be able to use it straight away. Okay. So these are not activated yet, but in the past, future they are, I mean. Vault one. Wait a second. Vault 114. <laughs> Quite frankly, this is ridiculous. Where are Vault 83 suits? Yeah, and also. Oh, yeah, 111. Yeah, now that I think about it, <clears throat> that kind of didn't make sense. That uh, the vault, uh, the jumpsuits I found so far were 111, but this is Vault 83. It's very foggy in here. Alright. Nobody there. Pistol. Booze and gum. Classic. Well, if anyone could figure out. <laughs> Why are you guys commenting on my hoarding tendencies? Come on. So, is there people slightly out of phase with us that, like, they would, like, see this and be like, oh my god, what's happening? Why is that floating around? Maybe. Maybe. Someone's got a damaged limb. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hello? Jowers? Where are you? Oh, you're in here, eh? You want a shower? Okay, so where did these synths come from? They were maybe sent by uh, the Institute, the now defunct Institute, in order to investigate the possibility of time travel? Or did they initiate the whole time travel thing? St we still got questions. Needless to say. Uh, what I think I should do... Oh, I wonder if I can get out of here, like, up to the surface. Probably not, right? Let's just see. <clears throat> and then it would be like a different... Yeah, okay, okay. It makes sense. Okay, so I go back. Do you go back in time? Or forward? Gotta go forward in time. Um, and then I can use the passcode that I just got. Yeah. Plan. The, uh, the Overseer passcode. I wonder... Uh, here's an, uh, another wonder. How come that guy couldn't come back? Did he, like, interact with too much? And then his vibes... His vibes changed? Alright. Maintenance memo. Good morning, Overseer. Uh, we seem to... Ha oh, yeah, okay. Oh, sorry. To open the door there. Unlock emergency bunker. Cool. Okay. 
Callus. Mm -hmm. What do they need it for, right? Okay, well, like, what's in here, though? Space search me. Okay, well, just, there's nothing in here. I guess the only thing maybe left to do is to um, go to that elevator and maybe I can forbid a magics into it. Right? Possible? Yeah, there doesn't seem to be much in here. Grab ourselves a drink. <laughs> wow, you really want to go to a bar, don't you? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I guess that is my option. Okay, okay. Unless this is on now. I don't think it is. Uh... Let's see. Okay. This may or may not work. Looks like we're going to have some synths to deal with. Here. Sneaky. Terminated? Guys, light me on fire. Research. Okay, that'll probably tell us things. Hmm. Overactive sensors. Nothing more. Is it? Or is it me? Oh, I, it's one of the nice things about this gun is I, I kind of didn't hit him, <laughs> but I was close. All right, we got carrots, melons, gourds. If we ever need any of that, we will know where to go. Oh, did my friends not make it down here? They might not have been able to. So I was, I was a little sneaky about it. Where are those? Can't pick them up. <laughs> All right, what's this one? Bolt 95 jumpsuit. Wow, we're really raking it up with the jumpsuits. Just not necessarily... I already have that one, I know. I'll take a lab coat. Wait, where am I hearing? Oh, there you are. Where's the other guys? Security. Okay. This morning, I was called upstairs to the cafeteria to escort young Annabelle Newton back to her residence. An altercation had ensued between Annabelle and another student, Gretchen Ross. It is reported that Annabelle had emptied the entire contents of her food tray all over Gretchen, Gretchen during an argument concerning a boy. Gave Annabelle a verbal warning, and she has apologized to Miss Ross. Case closed. Yeah, pretty normal. Uh, Rebecca... Uh, security question and research. Uh -huh. Huh. So this Rebecca asked to be in the research department by Dr. Williams is interesting since she's clearly all wrapped up in this. I can't believe this dick has been sitting behind me most of the day and hasn't said a word. Uh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, look at these. Hmm. Should we take some handcuffs? Kinky. <laughs> Alright, no reason to back away like that. 
I didn't say I was going to use them on you. Elvis. Alright. Bulletin board. Cafeteria. And then we'll go to research. Maybe that'll be some good clues. Blues clues. You might say, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Hello? Chef? Dinner. Oh God! Uh, you know what? Elvis has been asking me where to get a hamburger. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> he wants that hamburger. Um, yeah, what are you doing here? Voices, horrifying, Chef Ava. And you are. Wait, is this a Chef mod? Ava at your service. Whatever you're in the mood for, day or night, Ava can get right, it for you. Check no my, my mind palace here. Um. Vault eighty three. Oh, it would help if I spelled vault right, probably. Yeah. Vault 83. Oh, it is a mod. Okay. Uh, a mysterious building. Interesting. Um, late for dinner? Fair enough. I will not loot. Thanks, Chef Ava. Now taken, buddy. If you pass by in the future, feel free to drop by. It gets a little quiet. Oh, Ava. <laughs> hmm. and could... <laughs> I think Ava might make you one. That's weird. I was just saying how you're. I was asking where to get a burger. She said you want a burger. So I feel like match made in heaven. Finally, you guys can live together uh, in peace and harmony. All right. Hello. Ooh, where's that go? Okay. Okay. Seems like it might take us somewhere. Institute B? What? Hello? Hello? That's what I said. Attacking human. <laughs> Wait, you think this is the Institute of the Past? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we certainly do. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Alright, well, where are we? When are we? Who are we? Why did my voice go so high there? A lot of questions. What are these buttons for? Dr. Williams Terminal. I feel like in past games they actually called that the right thing instead of ear examiner, right? Access logs, reports, private entries. Can't stand being here any longer. When I first woke up, I refused to interact with anyone or anything. I even tempted to starve myself in protest, thinking that might 
thinking they might send me back, but it's no use. I've been informed that while I was unconscious, a procedure was performed. Apparently, I can no longer die from hunger. <laughs> In fact, unless I take a bullet to the cranium, it's pretty difficult for me to die. It is strange. I still feel like me. Hmm. Something curious struck me today. The longest... The longer I'm here, the more accepting I am of my situation. Sounds crazy, but this place is actually starting to grow on me. I feel at peace somehow. The real troubling question is, is this my mind's way of coping with being struck here, or have they been tinkering with that as well? Uh, today I was given information in regards to my capture and up. Great. It would seem I possess knowledge that they find very valuable indeed. In exchange for helping them, I get to live forever in this place. Hmm. They really have done something else to my mind. I can't seem to think about anything other than work anymore. It's like there is some control over how I focus. The moment my mind starts to wander, the thoughts of work are pushed into the forefront of my mind. Oh god, it's getting harder and harder to control my upgrade complete. That is, frankly, horrifying. Um, was there a thing to open the door here? No. Hmm. Okay, well, an issue that I think I might be having is that I've forbidden magics my way in here. Which... might not be ideal. I don't even know if this... this might not be a real door. It's a void. Avoid the void. <sighs> Teleport terminal. Okay. first batch of teleport tests were halted when an unexpected guest appeared onto the receiver panel. This was alarming for multiple reasons. Reason one, it would seem uh, that another faction has also discovered teleportation technology. This faction has a greater understanding of teleportation mechanics as they were able to successfully transport living biological matter, something that the Institute has yet to succeed in. Uh, we have sent a human female back to the original location. Now we have the coordinates we aim to infiltrate with deadly force and retrieve all their data on transporter. Mission success. We are able to retrieve the technology and data from Vault Tech 83 with only a few dozen fatalities. We believe this to be an acceptable loss of human life. Okay, so... I think this is explaining how the Institute... Uh, these are all the same, right? Yeah. Um, how the Institute d developed their teleportation technology. Like, it sounds like they were only Damage. able... Attack efficiency decreased. Yeah, who's saying that? <laughs> yeah, like, they were only... They weren't able to teleport biological stuff. But, um, Vault 83 was, so they came here and killed everyone and took the technology. There you go. Solved. Uh, Chef, you want to come with? Yeah, come with me. All right. I guess that's it for Vault 83. Gotta uh, get out of here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Solved. Probably. You know, can you ever be 100% sure 100% of the time that you've solved the various mysteries and machinations of the vaults that you find yourself in? I would hazard a guess no. But in this particular case, I'm going to assume I've figured it out. And I also got to kill a whole bunch of synths along the way, so... 
Yay, us. Oh, you know what? I need a sip. I think I'm a little early. I'm three minutes early, but we're in an elevator. Is Ava going to come with us? Or she couldn't leave. Mm -hmm. hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Let's vamoose. Vamoosles. <clears throat> That, uh, the other nice thing about that is... God damn. A frog in my throat. Um, that means this peninsula is... All searched and such. Uh, okay. Why don't we just do these two? Spectacle Island's fun. Via Warwick. Via Warwick Davis. Hey. hey. Yeah, we haven't really talked to these people. I know we kind of got them a little sorted, but. Hello? My parents used to. But not anymore. I'm glad they stopped. That's cool. Did I have a hand in that? I honestly can't remember. Roger? June's a heck of a cook. I feel no shame in admitting that's half the reason I married her. Oh. That's kind of actually not great. Half the reason? Bill? Okay. Oh. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Expect you want to talk to the Warwicks. You should expect the unexpected, Cedric. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess they live here. Am I able to? Uh... Yeah. Okay. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's go to the sunken factory. That's pretty fun. Um, keep in mind, Piper, I don't know if you know this. Uh, I can breathe underwater, and I do not believe that you can. So, you know, just keep that in mind. You can join me, of course, but don't feel you need to join me. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I forgot to put my speech thing on. Here we are. Oh, it requires key. Okay, okay. Maybe we go in elsewhere and come out there. Ooh, bloody birds. That's weird. My timer went off, but it didn't make a sound. Eh. There you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Freaky birds. I hate them. Uh, okay, I need a key. A key. Could also forbidden magics my way into that door. Yeah, I, I'm always tempted to do that just because I, I never know if I'll be back to a place, right? And it saves so much time. Okay, where is that though? Bingo. 
Uh, unless there's this way. Let's come down here and there's the key right here. No. Okay. Forbidden magics. Engage. Oh, it's kind of hard to see where I'm going here. <laughs> All right. That was just, if you are not someone who can breathe underwater. Oh, man, this is going to be hard to navigate. Um... clip's not working either. I was thinking I could just go up there, but... Yeah. <laughs> Frig. Um, I can't imagine my local map is going to be much help. No. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> Are you guys drowning? Are you guys drowning to death? Okay, so that's where I came in. So we go this way. Take a breath. We go down here. Down here. Look. That way. Look that way. Go through this little thing. Look up. Up. Take a breath. Through this one, through this one, take a breath. Um, then back down. All right, man, I don't know. Then up, up. Oh, Logan made it. I think Elvis might have died. To see if my thing's still not working. It's still not working. Oh. Kind of looks like you're not supposed to be up there. I saw void type things. Well, I tried. Alright, let's get out of here. Maybe we'll come back at some point with a better idea of what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Bound to happen sooner or later. Unless there's like another way in. Okay, I guess not. Elvis doing his Jesus impression, as he likes to do from time to time. Let's go to Spectacle Island, which is in this direction. I see my lurk. Oh. Hey. What's going on, King? Go off, King. The only King I need is Elvis, right? Here comes more. No, we certainly aren't. Whoa. 
Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay, let me give you a little out of character here. I have built quite a bit on this island before in past playthroughs. And it's not normally forested, which is interesting. So, that's kind of cool. It's definitely different than... What am I seeing there? Hmm. I think it just hasn't rendered in, maybe. Whatever's going on over there. Uh, alright, alright. What do we got going on here? A little workshop? A little desk fan? Uh-oh. Settler. Didn't have a very good time of it, seemingly. This little dock area. Get your own boat. Uh, we're in here, we're outside. No need to be quiet, really. We can handle most things, I feel like. Right, nobody over there, it doesn't look like. I feel like there's definitely going to be more Mirelurks on this island, though. <laughs> that was weird, right? Oh, Bean. Ooh, it was a kill claw. That sounds bad. Sure, razor claws, yeah, but a kill claw? Oof. Oof. Oh. Get out of here. Your kind isn't wanted. What did I say? I hate those mannequins. The worst. The worst. Don't feed the bears. Hmm. Think there's bears on this island? Oh. Another settler. Well, maybe we can uh, get this place set up a little nicer. You know what? I kind of wouldn't mind just doing like a quick and easy, for old times' sake, settlement here. All right. Nothing too. Uh, Nothing too crazy, like prefabs we'll use. We'll just get some, uh, I see it. Get some prefabs, get some electricity. Some defenses, some food, all your basics. And then uh, when, we ever, uh, when we ever don't want to be in Hangman's Alley, Right, we can just uh, just come here. Signal checklist, okay. Make sure the wires to the generator are all connected properly. Last thing we need is another short blowing. Generator must be on, turning on the signal tower. Suggest you stay out of the water when flipping the generator, generator switch, yeah. Know the signal is playing, well, you'll just know. Once the feedback goes away, it'll sound like there's nothing coming out of the speakers. There is, but only the Mirelurks can hear it. Uh, so we've got some Mirelurk repellent technology. That's nice. Are these all attached? It seems like. Attached. Follow the wires. That one... I mean, I'm not going to question that. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. Shar, 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 shar. Lovely. Um, 
Okay, so does it blow me? The, uh, where I turn the... It's like a generator or something? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Flip the switch. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yas Queen. Oh, more. Okay, let's run up there quick and turn on the repellent. The Meyer Lurk repellent. I don't think I have to go to the washroom. I want to see if they're going to blow up or something. Or are they just running? Alright. It's making a break for it. Oh. This one too? Where'd he go? <laughs> Also, what ho? Workshop. All right, we already got some power coming from the boat. Uh, I think what I'll do though is just uh, wait. What's going on? Are we all right? Are they all uh, dead or gone? Or dead and gone? Dead and or gone? Perfect. Uh, Perfect time for a real good prayer to the great goddess Alexandria. Please save progress in your mighty tone. You're the best. Around. Yeah, uh, so I have to go to the bathroom and stuff uh, and stretch, uh, but I'll be right back. And then we'll just set up a little, uh, little settlement here just for funsies. All right, back so.
Alright. <coughs> okay. I think I have the base building itch a little bit. Because I was debating. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay, sorry. Earbud trouble. Uh, I was debating playing Rust today. Uh, which, you know, it's one of my favorite parts of Rust, is building a cool base. As you can witness on this channel. Well, not that they're necessarily cool, but they're all ones that I enjoyed making. That I can't say. Anyways. <sighs> okay. I'm situated. Uh, so maybe that's why I have this desire to build a little base here. Again, we're not, we're not going to take crazy long on it. Um, probably over here. <gasps> or over. Over by this. This building, perhaps. Oh, I might not have enough material on me. So first things first is a beacon. Um, which I should have maybe built over there. Power. Misc. Recruitment beacon. I don't have enough. Damn. Okay, maybe we won't be doing this. Do I need ceramic and rubber? Um, well, is there anything ceramic and rubber around here? <laughs> Wood. Wood, certainly. Wood. Oh, I think that's ceramic. Oh, that's steel. Plastic. That's a tree. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe this. Plastic. Oh, I got a lot of plastic. Fiberglass. Oh, wait. Uh, did that have some good stuff? Wasn't really paying attention. <sighs> ceramic. I need, still need ceramic. Could just forbidden magic some ceramic, but wait, was there a, a uh... wait? Is a bathtub ceramic? Two. <laughs> of course, I need three. Is this ceramic steel? Oh, another. P there we go. Nice. Okay, so. Uh, I should do it over here, though, because I think there's already power coming into this. Not this. Power coming into this. So I can put it right here. Boop. 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 And then attach a wire to this. Cool. Now we wait, because once I have one settler... Um, that's all you need, because I can set them up to, uh, you know, uh, be my liaison to other settlements. In the meantime, why don't we just go to this boat? Bloosh. Yeah, I'm not getting rads, that's something. <laughs> While we're waiting for our settler, let's go swim over to this boat, give it a scope, scope her out, other things that mean look at it.
Oh, police boat. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus, I think maybe... Well, no, I, actually, I, I don't think, but maybe um, Settlers spawn, let's say. This is out of character whisper. When you're not, like, there. But I think they actually do when you're there as well. Ooh, a skull. Ominous. Okay, not much going on on this boat. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. Doesn't appear that they were smuggling anything. Why were they boarded by the fuzz? I wonder. Oh, wait. Because they had a, a crate with Radaway in it? Seems unlikely. They had these drums. This blood leaf. Alright. Well, <laughs> you guys made it just in time. Hey, look at us. Singing, swimming, recruiting, beacons. Okay, has anyone showed up? Now, one thing I am a little... I don't want to say worried, or apprehensive, or any word that means those sorts of things. It's just this island is so big, uh, it might take me a second to find... Uh, recruitments, recruit, recruited peoples, recruit settlers, which I do seem to recall um, when I built here before. Sometimes when you wanted to find a settler, it wasn't always easy. Well, that's why you have that bell; you can call them all in. But even then, it takes a while for them to show up because this is your where you can build the biggest settlement typically. Wait, did I hear something? Uh, you know what, I should... Uh, this may help in my search. I do feel like often they were along the beach there. Uh, you know what I could do as well is have a seat and wait. Wait for them to show up. Right? It's not like they're gonna show up right away or anything. Especially being in the, in the middle of the water as we are on this now deserted isle. It's one of the nice things. Oh, look at this guy go. Whoa, I'm gonna go. Uh, of island living is the desertedness. I mean, not during, well, I guess any time, but maybe specifically during a apocalypse. Especially where things like zombies exist. I mean, zombies, ghouls, you know what I mean. The difference between a zombie and a ghoul does exist, but it's not a huge difference. Um, okay, so this is not aiding in my search. So, let me just make it a sunny day. Using the forbidden magics. Is there like a quicker way to do this? I mean, I guess I could do that, but... Um, they should have on a pit boy quest items and misc items separate right could you imagine all right 
Oops. Whoa, hey, how did you get up here? Uh, have you seen anyone? Settlers, that is? I just need one, and we can get started. I do seem to recall they were often on the beach. Hmm. Oh, you know what I could also do? Zero. <laughs> Why? Nobody's here yet. Maybe it didn't like that I was here. Okay, so this is what I think we should do. Go to Brad. Go to the Queen's Gambit? I don't think I'm going to go to either of these. Maybe way later. But, what's the Queen's Gambit? And then maybe I'll rest there. For a time. And come back. Yeah, yeah. It might not spawn settlers while I'm here. I mean, I'm just making shit up at this point, to be honest. Ooh, ready. <laughs> so that's a chess television program, is it not? The Queen's Gambit? Oh, good sleep here, too. Okay, I'm not going to sleep. I'll sleep until morning. Honk shoe. Honk shoe. Honk shoe. Honk shoe. Honk shoe. Honk shoe. Alright. Do you think anyone showed up? Nope. Well, let's go to the Queen's Gambit, though. I have never seen a living animal in any waters of certain realms I've found myself in. For example, when I was in the... Oh. This is a weird thing. Mm, weird things are happening. Um... Oh, how deep is this? <laughs> this is confusing. Because I can't freaking see anything. Oh. Alright. Wow, it's deep. Just a green hood? Alright, why not? Yeah, when I was in the Capital Wasteland... When I was in the Mojave Wasteland, now that I'm in the Commonwealth, well, let's just go ahead and call it what it is, Wasteland, never seen any living creatures in the water. Just kind of depressing, isn't it? I guess if you count Mirelurks. So what is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Okay, so that's one of the mods that I thought I actually deleted. Uh, it's interesting in there, and maybe we'll go one time, but it's basically like Minecraft. Okay, nobody's showing up at Spectacle Island, so let's go to the castle. Oh, you know what? We haven't talked to Preston. Like, how, how does he feel about... Everyone in the Commonwealth will know. It's harder than two monsters. What was that? Hello, how's everyone doing? Oh wait, can't I send one of you to, uh... Yeah, you. How do you feel about going to... Can't I, uh... Send you to... No, I guess I can't, eh? I 
Okay. Maybe if I talk to you? I don't think sure. so. No. Okay, I thought I could send people to... Oh, hey. Castle Armory is at your service, General. What do you need? Uh, let's see. Sure thing, General. Okay, well, I'm still General. <sighs> yeah, isn't there a way to send people to settlements? Am I insane? Don't answer that. Thanks, Ronnie. Hope you're good. Uh, maybe if you have a spot where I can have a little resty poo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Something like a downstairs area here. Right, can I not uh, unblock this? That way. Okay, there's that guy. So, uh, I don't even know if there's a chair down here, to be honest. Oh, there are beds. Okay, cool. Okay, now I'll sleep for 24 hours. Exciting stuff, this episode. I just want to build a little base is all. A cute little uh, home away from home. When the hustle and bustle of big city life in Hangman's Alley is uh, too much for me, and I can uh, sail away to beautiful Spectacle Island. How nice would that be? Be great, but wait, did I not like turn it on? Is that it? Like, what's going on? Do you have to turn it on? I thought you just plugged it in and it was on. Been a while, I guess. Um, all right, let's go back. We gotta go back. Maybe the only uh, um, settlers, quote unquote, that you can tell where to go are ones that are companions. Like that's why I have them all at Red Rocket. I told him to go there. I don't know, man. Let's just see. Activate. Oh my god. So that's on, right? Or is green on? I would say showing on and having green means it's on. That's what I would say. But what do I know? It's good power, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. That's another option. Just like crashing. <laughs> All right, maybe we give up. And then at some point when I see that there's people living on this godforsaken island, we'll come back and build a, a little, I don't know, cabin. I'll probably just use a prefab of some sort. I just want like a little, little, I just wanted to build a little thing, man. That's all I wanted. Wait, I thought you could uh, control where settlers are. Because didn't I do that in Hangman's Alley? I told a bunch of people to go there. Howdy, General. Howdy. Okay, 
he's assigned to that. I don't know if we necessarily need you assigned to this, but it's fine. How about you? Assigned to that. Who's an unassigned person? You are. Already got a supply line. What about move? Person cannot not be moved from the sediment. Why? Why is that? Uh, so only four people live here. Okay, so, okay, 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 okay. Figuring things out, figuring things out that I should know despite being a crap ton of hours into this game. I mean, how much settlement stuff have I done, right? Not too much. So if I go to Hangman's Alley, where I got 11 people, maybe I can convince one of them to move to Spectacle Islands. Perhaps. First used by the Rust Devils, Raiders, what? All right, so who's here? Not often people in here. Or people down here. Where is everybody? Uh-oh, is there fighting? Super mutants? No? No, not you two. Maybe one of you. Move. Aha! Um, Spectacle Island, please. I hope you enjoy your new home. I'll, you know what? I'm going to meet you over there. You going to get going now? Thank you. Um, you? Crops have been growing pretty good lately. Well, I'm sure they'll be growing yes. even better on Spectacle Island. Okay, I'll meet you over there. One. <laughs> or maybe we travel together without really paying attention to the journey. I didn't even take the time to get to know your name. And for that, I apologize. Wherever you are. Someone out there? Okay, well, <laughs> in the effort of finding people, this is not the greatest. Not the greatest. All right. We're going to get this friggin' done, man. Sometimes in life, things are just not easy. And that's okay. As long as you're willing to put in the effort to overcome the less easy moments... And let me just preface that, though I guess I didn't preface, post fist set with, uh, oh, I don't think I even turned it on there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Ah, there you go. Preface that with, you don't have to. Like, if things are really hard, just don't do them. Yeah. What's the worst that'll happen? I guess that's what you got to take into consideration. It's only two, uh, you know, that old saying, there's only two guarantees in life, death and taxes. And I would argue taxes, you don't have to pay them. Now, there will be consequences if you don't. <laughs> keep that in mind. And the consequences are such that it's usually a better idea just to pay your taxes. Um... But you don't have to pay them. Death, on the other hand, is not really a way to avoid that. Okay, where is this girl? She's here somewhere. She's on this island somewhere. Oh. <laughs> no, that's a skull. That's a skull. It wasn't her at all. Hmm. Like, could she literally be anywhere on this island? 
It's just I need to find her to make her a... It posts the... Uh, what do they call it? Not a liaison. Uh, I need to open up the supply lines. Basically. No, that's a bush. Also not her. Hmm. Okay, maybe I wait a bit. I'll just wait like an hour. Yeah, wait an hour. And surely she'll be right. Did I see? You got a queen like that. Hmm. There is a settler here, right? One. Yep. Let's hear gunshot. Hmm. Maybe I need to put something down to attract her. Like, uh, I don't know. What did it look like she liked? Again, I didn't get to know her along the way. Oh, I know. I'm an idiot. Uh, I'll make one of those bells that, like, calls them. Um, now, the only issue with that is finding it. Uh, might be a mess structure. Cubby. What? I don't think fault. Oh, can I? Oh, I can make vault stuff here. I thought I could only make vault stuff in. You know, vault stuff. Is it a furniture? Is it a crafting? Is it a raider? Resources. Damn it. That's the issue. I don't really know what it is. What it would be under misc. I feel like this is a good spot. Well, not when I see it. It's like a little bell. And you ring it, and then all your settlers come. God damn it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put this down. Maybe she's a gymnast. And that will attract her. In the meantime, um, okay, so uh, power no resources. Ah, bell. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's put it right here. Okay. So now when I ring this, come and get it. <laughs> Keep your eyes open for trouble. I'm keeping my eyes open for the settler. Is that really, you think it's because this place is so big, maybe? I mean, I can go over here and build another one and bring it. 
It does say nearby. I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't her. Nice being on the move again. Fewer paper cuts than back home. Hmm. You guys see the settler anywhere? I certainly don't. She has the first one, probably. Friggin'. No. Alright. We're gonna build another one. They're cheap to make, at least. Yeah, put one right by the beacon here. Hello? God damn. Oh shit, is that? No, it was nothing. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Alright, so I'll build one over here. And then after that, maybe I'll sit, and I'll wait for a time, and I'll ring it again. I think maybe she's just not here yet. Yeah. Hopefully she makes it. She wasn't, you know, waylaid on the way. Laid. Alright. Sit by the fire for 24 hours. Oh, I mean, you know what? There's worse things to do with your time. I'll have a sip of my drink here. <sighs> it's funny. This episode really went from like the excitement of end game taking down the taking down the institute giant guns out just massacring everyone blowing it up nuclear explosions to this foggy island ringing a bell waiting for a girl to show up who seemingly is not going to so weird and I don't like it <laughs> I know I have. For a while. Alright, alright. I'll go ring the other one. And if she doesn't show up, we'll give up. I mean, will we permanently give up forever and ever and ever? Probably not. But for today, I think I might. Because it's pretty ridiculous. Ridiculous. Weird. Uh, Alright, well, where to next? Let's go back to exploring, I guess. Um, let's go to the Peabody house. Professor Peabody. Have I been here? Oh, I have not discovered. Okay. Let's go to this wreck. The wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald? Perhaps? Oh, mm. mm. right. nice day out. Look at this. Beautiful colors, Marlurks. Yeah, 
like it. Oh, something popped up, I think. Yep. Hmm, let there be lighthouse. Remember the band? Wasn't there a band lighthouse? What did they sing? I don't know if I'd call this a sunken lighthouse, necessarily. Sinking, perhaps. Sunken? No. It's okay, you guys got it. They're just hatchlings. I assume. I assume it's just Marler hatchlings. Oh yeah, see what a nice day out. Yeah, I know. Get them. Get get the hostels over there. Oh, ooh, what do we have here? Barter. Welcome to barter. Seriously, how do you carry so many of these? Every time we collect caps, there's a small chance of earning a bonus. Hmm. That's fun. That's a fun thing. Hmm. Less fun. Breaking your bobby pin. Mm -hmm. Hotshot. Alright, hotshot. Oh, sadness. Whenever you see a dead person with like a gun beside them, do so you always assume this person killed themselves? Okay, I'm definitely jumping down from here. But wow, look at that. Beautiful. Alright. Let's go to Peabody House. I think Peabody House. What could that be? Oh. Lighthouse Keeper Shack. Oh, if they have a bulb in here, maybe I'll go bring it up. Couldn't, couldn't wait. Oh. Okay. I didn't see a key when I was up there, I don't think. Tug? I don't think I have one of those. Key, key? Well, that's what the Forbidden Magic's are for. We've been doing it enough today. Hey, what's, what's one more, right? Oh. Okay. Unexpected? Unexpected elevator? Weird. Hmm. Huh. Genuinely not expecting that. Is this going to be a vault? What's, what is this going to be? Curious. Oh my god. Sorry. Super mutants. Checkpoint Alpha. Um, master. Uh oh. All right, it's easier said than done. Then, uh, expedition. <coughs> okay, so concoction. Challenger? No. Radiated? No. Apartments? Yes. Security door? Open door. Hmm. Because I didn't really have to do this, did I? Oh my god. Master uh, terminal and a master block? Ooh. Did that one pretty good. Oh, what's this going to be? Bulkhead. <laughs> Let's get a look at this from the side. Uh, wait, did I have the password? I don't think I have the password. Bulkhead. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's just go up and see if I missed by going past that dead super mutant, maybe. 
if I missed anything. Oh, an other elevator. Interesting. Okay, my thought is... Oh, and two doors. Interesting. So maybe we go down there, down here, and we get the key. Well, bar four. Oh, I was supposed to leave rad roaches for you guys. I forgot. Um, Chief Research Soldier's Log. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Oh. USA. FEV? We know about that. Where is it? Legendary status in certain scientific circles. The government has become very interested in what we're doing here at West Tech. I'll do my best not to disappoint. Hmm. Wow, well, Master Lock here, too. It's very untrustworthy. Actually, you know what? While I'm doing this, why don't I listen to this? <clears throat> this is going well enough. We still have a 100% mortality rate, but each subject lives marginally longer after exposure. Good, I guess. <laughs> Piper like that. Piper's not even here. Unless she's behind me right now. Oh, you guys made it. <clears throat> My god, everything locked. Hmm. Mm-hmm. More locked. Laser rifle. Alright, alright. So I'm unlocking, I'm unlocking. I guess we're getting some good experience opening these, and by then I mean becoming more... Ooh! Staggering knuckles, that's fun. Becoming more proficient at opening things. Like saves. Ah, uh, saves. That uh, reminds me of um, Have Friends who are uh, big Toronto Maple Leaf fans. You know, more power to you, I guess, whatever. I, I'm a Canadian who doesn't care about hockey. hockey. Um, I can't even say it right. <laughs> so uh, whenever I see Go Leafs Go, which is like one of their, I don't know, is it a motto? Is it a catchphrase? Is it a whatever? I would say Go Leaves Go, spelled L-E-A-V-E-S. To the great delight of many, I'm sure. Cryo grenade. That's fun. What would be like a fun use of a cryo grenade? Wow, so many dead super mutants, right? Overlord. Okay. Weird. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go back to that door that I just went by. This one. Oh. It's not even locked, this one. Oh, is this number three? Yes. Nice. There seems to be growing disquietude amongst some of the staff. Things boiled over yesterday when a junior researcher accused me of being arrogant and callous. Arrogant and callous. Me. Oh, there they are. Fired him on the spot. I need to maintain order amongst the staff. This project will be nothing without me. They need to know <laughs> I'm in charge. In other news, we had our first. <laughs> That's a very arrogant and callous move. His death really was something of a disappointment. Hmm. Okay. So we got like an evil scientist of some sort. Wait, did I miss number four? It seems I would like four? to be concerned about the situation at Mariposa. The 
this morning, there were nuclear strikes across the country. This is oh. an extremely frustrating development, it being a Saturday morning, the majority of the staff were absent. <laughs> the destruction of the entire United States wow. will surely reduce the supply of money and test subjects. We'll have to make do on a shoestring from now on. Wow, this guy is very callous, isn't he? Eh. God damn. There's so many master locks here, though. Oh. To a ghoul. Oh, we might meet someone then if they're a ghoul. Could still be alive. Take precautions and quarantine him. I scolded him for that comment. Where I come from, we don't worry about warnings or precautions. We just do things. I'm sure it'll just be fine. <laughs> okay. Where does he come from that that is the case? Oh, why does it feel like these doors are going to open and things are going to come kill me? Take an emergency. Exciting. Um, okay. Oh, security terminal. That's interesting. End security. Yeah, let's do that. I don't have to listen to the goddamn. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? I guess the fact that all these doors are locked shouldn't be too weird. We're in like a, you know, military seemingly facility of some s Oh my god. We should uh. stop by a bar. Grab ourselves a drink. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. Hi there. Who are you guys? Judith? Is everything alright? No, everything isn't alright. Can you see I'm busy here? Uh... Yeah, what happened? Don't worry. Tell me what happened. We were looking for tech around here and Francis dropped a vial. He's been infected with whatever virus they were experimenting on here. Uh oh. I just need a little more time. I should be able to work it out. Okay, well, yeah, what do you need? We just need to figure out how to mix the cure they invented. All I know so far oh, is they did that invent all the one. Okay, well, that's something. Mixed together in that centrifuge near the refrigerators and there needs to be acid in there to dissolve it all. All right. Okay, okay. So is he going to turn into a super mutant if we don't help him? I mean, I've met some nice super mutants. It doesn't seem all bad. Also, this, I am assuming, is from a mod, and I don't know which one. So that's something. My brother's, yeah. Um, okay, okay. So. We need things. Blood packs, probably. Uh, oh, here's number five. That's funny. I was saying, where is that one? The X1495 compound turns out to be the perfect reduction agent. By comparison, the X1594 compound was completely useless. We should make sure to throw out the last of our stores. Hmm. Is the cure yeah. going to involve Nuka Cola? Because if so, uh, that's funny. Okay, so don't mix it with Nuka Cola. Anyway, All right, well, <laughs> it's actually good I heard that. That was my first thought. Okay, so we got acid, we got the cure, we got Nuka Cola. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a bulkhead. Um, 
Is this the centrifuge? This is the centrifuge. Okay. I need ingredients. Don't worry, Francis. We're going to uh, save you one way or the other. We need some melons. We need carrots. We need daddy -o. We probably need a lot of this. FEVV agents. Take all these blood packs. I need this compound. This compound. I'm going to take all the blood packs. I'm, I'm sort of just thinking the more I have to work towards this cure in terms of supplies, the better, right? Okay, so. Oh, cure log. Well, I finally completed that waste of time cure. As unbelievable as it might sound, the final ingredient mm -hmm. was melon. Juice. Melon. Now that that's over, I can get on with the real work. Weaponizing okay. the virus against the damn Chinese. Okay, so final ingredient is melon. Someone write this down. Don't use Nuka Cola. This is CR Soda's first cure research log. Apparently, the government wants us to make a cure in case the FEV is released domestically. I told them mm -hmm. we'd only be able to make a cure from the specific strain of FEV we're working with here, but they thought that was good oh, enough. So I can't like use this on like strong or whatever. On this venture. I suppose the distilled antigens of the FEV have a logical place to start. Okay, so antigen distilled is uh, ingredient one. So we have the first ingredient and the last ingredient. Seems even when completely dissolved, the cures are completely rejected by the body to no effect. Oh. I suspect that including samples of human blood. blood should be sufficient into tricking the body into not treating it as a foreign source. Okay, so FEE blood was the last one. You guys are writing this down, right? Was it melon? Melon. FEE blood melon. FEE blood melon. Okay. How do I put things in? How and where do I put things? Hello? Do I need to use this? I don't know where. Okay, I'll take that, I guess. Microfiche. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so... Uh, 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 is it a? I think it might be a mess. Okay, so FEV blood pack. Blood pack, just the one. Let's not go crazy, especially because I don't know if I'm doing this right. If you eat blood pack, melon. In that order. Um, pray to the great goddess that this works for you. Everyone, cross your fingies. Oh, acid. Are they still there? They're still there, at least. And acid. Oh, uh, where does the acid go? Does it matter? Just in there, anyway? It'll be in junk, I think. Acid. All right. Oh, hey, I did it. Look at us. Bring cure to Hux. Who's Hux? Well, here's the cure for you. What did it say? Bring the cure to Hux. Who the hell is Hux? Don't you guys want the cure? Did you do it? Did you make the cure? I did. Uh, why can't I just make more? Yeah, here's half, and I need the other half for Hux. I'm sorry, we can't do that. He needs the entire dose, or it won't work. Um. All right, well, here. I don't even know who Hux is. You mean it? Thank you. It's all right, Francis. We've got a cure. You're gonna be fine. Why can't I just make another one? It hurts real bad.
All right, well, if you guys do that, I'm just going to try to make another one. Let's see how I sh shouldn't be able to. Oh, because there was only one. Oh, that's why. Damn it. Yeah, there was only one of the ingredients, the FEV one. Mm -hmm. Damn. Take this. It's not working. It still really hurts. Maybe it takes a while to take effect? Look, thanks for your help, stranger, but we'll look after him from here. All right, all right. I gotta go talk to someone named Hux, who apparently also wanted this. Uh-oh. They're not gonna be happy, probably, right? Well... We're going to have a lot of stories to tell, you and I. Okay, how do I open this? I mean, there's ways. We sure are, Logan. We sure are. Gonna have a lot of stories to tell. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess I should play that. Okay, so who the hell is Hux? I guess it's the fact that I may have done this in the wrong order. That's fine. This will be my final log. One of the soldiers, the one who had been sick. When Mad started attacking the staff and equipment, one of the test subjects got loose, and then naturally I sealed off the lab and left the staff behind. I was able to escape. <laughs> what a piece of shit that guy was. Oh, wow. You oh, hear shit. that? I gotta break through the walls. I have to get out of here. Alright, where does this guy live? Oh, this is a Vault 4. What the hell is Hux in Vault 4? Alright, well, sure. This is a Vault 4 quest that I don't know how I have. Oh no, wait a second. I'm not going goddamn... Where is Hux? I told myself I'm not doing that elevator trip again. So if he's not in this initial foyer area... Okay, it looks like maybe he is. You're lucky. Because I'm not going down into the vault again. Oop. Who the hell is Hux, though? If you see, a crime, boy, if you see something, Bill say something. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. I hope you're keeping out of trouble. Oh, Hux is that doctor. You know what's weird about that? Well, it makes sense. He's a super mutant doctor. Okay. <laughs> is, like, I checked in with him a bunch of times, assuming he would have a mission. I mean, you see a super mutant doctor, you're gonna think maybe you could help him with it's something. Working. Fuck you. Oh, oh my god, the, uh, the restraint needed there was incredible, Hux. I got bad news and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, that's I'm bad. It's bad news. It was another dead end, wasn't it? I knew it. Sorry, Hux. I'll leave you to think. And if you ever need anything else, you know, say something this time. If I hadn't known it was you who needed it. <sighs> <coughs> okay, well, I feel a little bad. <coughs> I guess that's why you gotta be wary of the forbidden magics, right? Even for such a simple thing as opening a door. Is you could screw it up, and then Hux doesn't get his cure. I mean, I know a lot of super mutants who don't seem to mind it, being super mutant. We got Strong, we got Fox... Um, who else? We met that whole, uh, Jacobstown, the whole city of Jacobstown there. It's not all bad. You get to be super strong and sometimes keep your intelligence and personality. What? Who said that? You guys hear something? Oh, 
like this person. Gunners. I hate gunners. But you. <laughs> this gun literally sounds like but you. There's another one somewhere. Here, what do you think? Hmm, that would have been cool. Well, you can't win them all. We're at the Peabody. Professor Peabody. Who's Professor Peabody? Why do I know that name? Hello. Are you the Peabodies? Matt Peabody and Carol Peabody? Yeah. Matt Peabody? That's close enough. Okay. This yeah. is a dangerous area. Can't be too careful. I hear you, you brother. Anything worth stealing. So just move along, stranger. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not a not a stealing type, but uh nothing I can help you with. How about you? Carol, yeah. is it? Yes. Okay. You guys don't need anything. You're just chilling in here. I mean it's fine. Yeah. Alright, it's just the Peabodies. And this is their home. <laughs> Great. Great, great stuff. Alright, let's go check this trailer out, I guess. Weird. I don't know. I see a thing on my map called Peabody's, the Peabody's home. I go inside, and there's a couple of uh, ghouls, the Peabody's. And they just want me to leave. Sort of uh, disappointing, to be honest. Gunners. What? Down there, some. Oh, oh, oh. I saw us. I saw them. an invisible one. Alright, well, good luck with that. <laughs> These things are a pain. I'm going to my trailer in the woods. Boop. Beep. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. How do you get in here? Oh. 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 <laughs> Alright, well. Hello, everyone. We get him? interesting this is not on my map oh. oh hey jerk face so is this a settlement here's a settler oh is that cicadas so loud Yeah, kind of a nice little setup here. Other than the ghouls, of course. I don't know why I've often had the thought, and I feel like I've mentioned this before. Um, you know, post-apocalyptic setting up shop, where are you going to do it? And why do I... And I don't think I'm alone in this. I feel like I've... Like, well, here's a good example right here. Uh, like, under a bridge. Why does that seem like a reasonable idea? Why wouldn't you just move into like a house or something? Why under a bridge? I don't know. Um, okay. Cool little, uh, little spot, not on our map. Yeah, eh? That's why it's a good idea to walk places sometimes. 
find some cool stuff around, along the way. Hmm. This feels like Bug bug City over here. Maybe we got some Mirelurks in the water. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Can you... You know what? Are you able to... You could do it in uh, other games. I guess this is out of character. Um, can you vats a grenade throw? Open, close, ladder. How do you open a ladder? Oh. This is a hatch? Yeah. Interesting. Not a horrible idea that the entrance is... Well, it's going to be cramped in here with all of us. That the entrance is up top there. Broken holotype. Okay. We've got some enhanced targeting cards, circuitry. It's something weird. Hmm. Burnt fishing mag, I'll take. Fishing rod. Worms. Guys, I got worms. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's packed in here, eh? Camera, sensor module. Oh. Hm. Can't turn that on for some reason. Yellow paint. Uh, yeah. I need blue paint and a mixer. Sniper rifle, if any of you guys want it. And a bed. Have you heard that song on the radio? 60 minute man? Ooh, overdue bucks. 15 minutes of blowing my top? There's no way that can be true. Who's to say? Anything's possible if you believe. And do your kegels. Hmm. Oh. oh my god, I'm freaking surrounded. Oh shoot, did I like... I think maybe I turned off the... Well, the merc guy. Okay, so I think all these guys popped out because I maybe turned off. Similar to Spectacle Islands. There was something keeping them away. Maybe. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, Valera. That's with your weird arm. I mean, I can not take it, but. Old Murkai Wax Replica Blueprints. You can now craft Old Murkai Wax Replica at your settlements. Cool. Don't know what that means. Excuse me. Damn. Human jaw. Another Valera. Skull faceplate. Alright, I kind of don't know what all this is about necessarily, but it doesn't bode well. That's fine though, because we're. How have I not discovered this and yet it's cleared? Riddle me that, Batman. Oh wow, there's 23 people in there now? Jeez, I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, I guess we're going through the swamps. We're like swamp folk in that regard. 
Swamp Fuck. Can you believe that was a television show? It might still be, I don't know. Oh. Bugs. <laughs> Harder to shoot a fly in the air than it is to... I'll do several other things. See, don't you feel like there's just like a... McGregor? Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, what the hell is this? Oh. Does he hit... Oh, yeah. Okay, he's like the Highlander. Or a Highlander. <clears throat> is that what that is? Yeah, what the hell is with the sword? McGregor. It was a sword, wasn't it? Well, that's the mad. Uh, oh, big damage. Okay, maybe we'll see if we can do anything. If armor rating is below 45, attacks bleed target for 45 damage. I don't know, what is like people's armor rating, usually? Whoa. Okay, let me just point something out here. Okay, so this is the head of like a hag. This is like the arm. This is like the body coming out of the water. Okay, now as we back away. You see it? You see it? No? Okay, okay. You don't have to see it. What am I hearing? <laughs> I don't know why it does that. So it doesn't target other people. Yeah, it doesn't target Logan. Just Elvis gets targeted. Oh. Alright, let's get involved. I don't know what it is, but... Oh! It's like a crash ship. Surprise, mother fudgers. Hold on. Hold on, I said. I think we got him all. Oh, who are you? Railroad. Oh, hey, guys. How's it going? <clears throat> What's going on here? Crashed uh, vertebrate or some such? Anything I can do to help? What are we going to do with it? Fix it up? It's a real fixer-upper, that I will say. Okay. Um, it's going to take some of it. You guys can have the blazing switchblade. That's pretty cool, all right? How y'all doing? I never even got to meet him. Yeah, pretty sad. I don't know who she's talking about. Whoa, what are... Oh. Okay, let's go to the Gunner's Plaza. Ooh, nice thing about this. I bet you we're going to get a lot, kill a lot of gu gunners. <laughs> uh, sometimes words are hard. Oh, you see something? Oh, you got one of those weird guns, right? Or is that a rail gun? Yeah, a rail gun. I had one of those once. It was huge, very intimidating looking. But in the end, wasn't that great, to be honest. Amish with you. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Oh. Uh, there's probably more than one. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I think maybe I've passed through here before. Well, it's nice to lo to know, I guess, that the nature has returned. Yes, beautiful nature. It's finally returned in force to the area and stuff. Um, let's mix up. What should we do for them? This? No. Yes. 
For the gunners, they get the big gun. The literal big gun. Makes as much sense as anything. This crazy world. Oh, where are you? <laughs> where were you? Oh. <laughs> I think they're mad now. Let me just check in here. Did, did we ever come? Oh, careful. You okay? Where are they? I was just about to say, didn't we once open up Kowalski Shelter? And uh, inside. Oh man. Was like a grenade cluster that like blew up. Hello! There. Oh, didn't see you up there, but now I do. Legendary, you say? I shall tell of your legend. Oh. <laughs> Major? I feel like the Major should have more than a knife. Oh, she had a fat man. What's she using a knife for? <laughs> That's the, the, like the most insane downgrade I've ever heard of. Some that's weird. What are they doing here? Oh. Would appreciate it if you didn't do that. <laughs> I do look cool using this gun, I will say that, I guess. It's kind of hard to see those ones, like among the foliage, or foliage. Oh. We get them all? We got them all. Oh, hey. Uh, so there is a door up here, and it might make sense if we enter from up top here where was it or was it like up up yeah it's like an elevator so i'm thinking maybe we go in work our way down to the bottom and murder all the gunners within what do you guys think probably a good idea right Ha sha sha! Come get some. <laughs> you guys give up? See what's happening here? I'd give up if I were you. Lieutenant. Alright, we're doing it, we're doing it. They're like up top somewhere here. Eh. Alright, I was a little stuck there. Hey, Ryder. Ryder's on the storm. You ready for this? You're not going to like it. Ooh. Riders on the firestorm. Right? That's almost a joke. Hmm. 
<laughs> Make your peace. Why are you telling me that? Bloodied rolling pin. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's. It would be kind of funny if I just gave everyone rolling pins. I was. I was thinking that, like, have a bunch of companions and give them all like really dumb weapons. Well, <laughs> there was those like little old ladies that went, "Hey, what gun are you using?" Hello. There was that, like, group of little old ladies once that, like, attacked me in an alleyway. And they all had rolling pins. Whoa. Scared me all of us. Oh, did you get the last one? Alright, cool. Um, okay, so I got a weird key there. There's something about, like, recording. Okay, is this where we came in? Uh, what? Yes, true. Hmm? Indeed. Okay. A lot of gas everywhere, do I? Seemingly. Okay, so that's the elevator that I came down, I guess. Oh, hello? Old Bean. Oh, you're kind of stuck back there. I almost feel bad. Was there turrets? I ask as I... Damn it. So, can I not get back on this? I don't really care that much. Okay, okay. Yeah. I didn't care a huge amount. Or I wouldn't have done that. Eh. Come on. Wow, easier said than done getting up there. There we go. Why do you think ever ink <coughs> Okay, so he had, like, a key to, it sounded like a radio? Is that crazy? No, I don't want to do that. I just want these rounds, that's all. I'm not seeing a, like, a working radio or anything up here. Unless I missed it. I guess not. Um, Alright, well, I guess we're done here. Okay, so where was that other elevator? Oh, wait, there's something else. Here. <laughs> Fire! Da da da! Oh, uh, wise man sing. All right. Only fools rush in. Not really. I, I've mentioned this before, Elvis. That, although of course I am aware of you as an entity. And you know some of your lore and the names of some of your songs. I don't run deep into the Elvis lore and songs, so I don't really know how that song goes. And for that, I apologize. So if you want to just keep singing and you know, let me know, let me know your jest. Feel free. I'm all ears. Well, I'm not all ears. That would be weird if I was. How would I walk around without, like, muscles and bones and stuff? It would just be, like, cartilage, I guess? Needless to say, I have ears, but it's a normal amount, and I hear probably a normal amount as well. 
maybe better than normal. Maybe worse. Piper idolizes me. Wow, Piper, you got something? Blue, you got a minute? Yeah, what's up? Well, yeah, but it's nothing bad. Okay. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and yeah. again in my head, and what you said was right. Good camera angle. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she going to have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes mm -hmm. it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. And me. I can count on. And Logan. Come and on. Alien Elvis. And Dustworth. Not a lot of people want to hang around with a nosy reporter. Um, yeah, my kind of nosy. <laughs> you want to dig into the truth. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. <laughs> That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After hmm, the first couple nice. of editions, People may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Yeah, the things get better? For the city? <laughs> yeah. For me. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... Things changed. Uh-oh. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper... Yeah, I suppose that stands to reason. <clears throat> Especially because they're not used to it. They haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. Yeah, you can count on me. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be hmm. the best thing. I'm afraid of very few things, as I'm virtually immortal. Now. now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. Yeah, why are you calling me blue, though? I I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. Oh, cute. Romance? Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always... Okay, well, you should know that. <clears throat> I, I guess you do know that my wife was murdered before my eyes, but I was also married to uh, someone named Ella the Huntress, and if she ever found out that uh, we were flirting and romanticizing then um, she would probably kill us both. So, perfect. perfect huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well, hmm. well, I think you're perfect too. Oh, well, Piper, so nice of you to say that. Goodness, Blue, I, I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. And more? Come on. Let's not keep <laughs> the world waiting. Okay, we got a perk. Thanks, Piper. Cool. Logan, don't be jealous. Uh, okay, so now where's that goddamn elevator? <coughs> I thought it was on this floor. Uh, okay, no, wait. That's the one that I came in, came out of. Because it's well open. Ah, here it is. So let's go up or down. How do I tell? <laughs> do you guys feel like we're going up or down? Thus worth you can refrain from answering as you're floating in the air. Ground floor. Ground floor. All right. Is there any gunners here? I think there would be. Oh, reloading. <laughs> oh, blew all the art off the walls with that one. I'll tell you what. You guys are in real trouble now. Is 
somebody in here? Was there somebody in here? Just blew the shit out of him? Oh, hey. <laughs> Man, how did that not kill you? Okay, well, you're almost done. I shall feel much better after tea. I should maybe use this instead. While still explosive, it doesn't quite explode me to the same degree. the radio is somewhere here. Cruise. Alright, where's this cruise character? Ow. Stop throwing grenades at me. Going down. I can finish. Great at finishing. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, so is there like a radio in here somewhere that I can use, maybe? Alright. Did we get them all? Is everyone dead? There's, a, there's an exit. Anyone up here still? Eh. Okay, okay, so to the outside it is. Hilarious bathrooms. Oh, Sanctuary Hills. Sanctuary Hills can take care of themselves. They got a lot of uh, stuff going for them. Mama Murphy's there. She's going to a trance and melt their brains, I assume. I do think if I give her any more drugs, she will die. So I should maybe consider not doing that. <coughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where's the this Cruise character? Did you guys see someone named Cruise when we were fighting? I thought I did. No. Oh, men's washroom. No hilarity. No hilarity. At least I don't think. Blood pack. Is that hilarious though? I don't think so. All right, we're done on this floor, I would say. Oh wait, what's this? this oh, that's probably for turrets, which I've blown them all up. Hmm. Whoa, guys, we've been doing so well. And Dustworth, how the hell did you set that off when you're floating? the downward pressure of whatever keeps you aloft perhaps which I don't actually know what it is some sort of electromagnetism something like that alright I guess we're done here just check do you think any more people have showed up one if in fact they are even there let's go to cutter bend cutter bend i don't even know are you brought or you cutter bend that doesn't make sense and yet i say it hmm. i 
I feel like I've seen this train before, too. Oh, I hear something. Don't let them pounce on you. You guys got it? <laughs> I did literally nothing there. <laughs> Brought out a bat, decided, no. Brought out a gun. He was already dead. Then I shot, and also I missed. So I'm not too happy about that frowny face. Yeah, not even a good frowny face. All right. Well, that made me feel a bit better. Gas King. Whoa, that was cool looking. With it coming right at me like that. It's like I was seeing through time or something. Alright. We're in a bit of a losing streak in terms of gun violence. Well, what are you going to do, right? Unlock a master safe. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. If only this was a strawberry alarm clock. So, might as well do this. So, I was doing commando, yes. Cool. Oh, um, and also. Hmm. Yeah, what are we thinking? Pop in to Somerville. And then make our way. This is a fun part of the map down here as well. Because... You better not cause any trouble. Because... You never know what you're going to find in a weird, uh, out-of-the-way places, right? Do you guys have a bed or something like that, Stephen? Yeah. You mind? 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Look, shoo. Anywhere around can get a burger around here. I honestly don't know. At this point, I... I oh, yeah. <coughs> hmm? Why is that happening? Hello? I feel like that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> um um <laughs> why is that happening all right i think we fixed it Weird. Well, if it happens again, seemingly at least I know how to fix it. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Um. Okay, there we go. So where am I going? Am I going on the right? Yeah. We're going to Relay Tower ODB Old Dirty Bastard dash five two one. And then sort of explore around down here a bit. Or which one do I want to take a break at? Cave. Oh, there's my timer. Because uh, I'm probably going to wrap it up soonish. So I think what I'll do is relay tower, cave. Or maybe relay tower, vertebrate wreckage, cave. And we'll end in cave.
right? We'll end in the cave. Let's, maybe I go right to cave. Right to cave. Straight to cave. But I'm going to be passing things along the way. Okay. OG plan. <clears throat> Original plan. That is... Oh yeah, my... Uh... AP definitely goes down less while running now. That's cool. Yeah, I feel like I could run for days. I wish that affected jetpack as well. That would have been nice. Hey. Ooh. Ah. Don't skip leg die. Just in time. Okay, uh, maybe I power this baby up. It's often not you know, extend satellites, really. Yeah, it's usually not a bad idea to do that sort of thing, right? What's the worst that could happen? Mhm. Mm oh, I found a distress signal. Unintelligible sorts of goodies. All right, yeah, well, we gotta make a mental note. You guys make a mental note. We gotta check at our signals one day. What happened to Logan? He's always so slow now. Oh, hi, Logan. We were just talking about how awesome you are. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. The thing I like about a cave, and I've said it once and I've said it a million times, so you never quite know what you're going to get out of a cave. Oh yeah, good, good thing. Let's put some, uh... Could be anything. You could go in and it could just be a cave, someone was sleeping there, maybe there's like a little sleeping bag. Could go in and it's the opening to a goddamn vault and you spend hours in there. Anything in between. Could be a portal to a magical realm. Could be a dumpster with a magical ring. Hmm? Wait, is this it? Huh, who's this? Raiders. Oh, look at some power armor. Wait, what did I hear? Am I hearing someone talking? Could be nothing. <laughs> cave, cave. All right, that was kind of boring. Um, so instead, why don't we go to O'Neill Family Manufacturing? That's probably got cool stuff, right? What did the O'Neill family make? I know Ed O'Neill made quality television for many years and then for many years again and maybe oh jesus ancient behemoth oh my okay well we should take care of this lord what just threw a rock at him wow did that not even hurt him okay well that did i feel like something just threw a rock oh my god there's two of them Oh my god. This is a lot of super mutants. Uh, was that an, a third behemoth? Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Three behemoths. That is insane. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, we get a super mutant primus? I don't even know what that is. I have never seen such a conglomeration of superness. I had my big gun out. Oh, he's got a big gun too. That was. What were they? They were like fighting each other. Like. 
I saw a big rock hit the back of one of the behemoths. And normally only behemoths <laughs> shoot big rocks. That was, wow, what a, what a way to end our, our time here today. With a fight like that. Yeah, so we went from, I feel like, exciting when we first started today to boring as I tried to do things that just didn't work out to exciting again with that fight. So that's pretty good. Oh, here's a hole in the ground now, too. The rad school being on it. Yeah, I'll feel better after we decide where we're going to rest. Hopefully somewhere indoors would actually be nice. Oh, sorry, Elvis. It's just there was a guy right there. Uh, here, get a boxing glove if anyone wants it. Okay, what do we think the Anil family used to make? Let's get a little healed up. Okay. <laughs> Whenever I hear that, I, it's kind of, you know, it's funny. Okay, well, this is going to be out of character, I guess. So that sound means there's like a, like a weird thing, like a, a wild wasteland is what it means. And the funny thing about that is because of mods and just because of the nature of the Fallout series as a whole, like sometimes it's hard to tell like what the, the wildness is, right? Here, I guess we uh, do this. Open roof access door. Yeah, that'd be good. Invoices. Oh, maybe the William Thomas. Mr. Handy. Mr. Handy randomly loses mobility and falls to the ground about four times a day. Hmm. So are they like? Well, let's just read another one. Are they the makers of Mr. Handy? Or they just uh, repair. Protector on, okay. So something with uh, robots, something robot related. Hmm. Okay, what did that open? I opened something. This. Well, this? Yeah. Got him? Alright, well, we got him. What was the roof access? Like, this roof? No. Oh, yeah, what's over here? No. Seemingly, no. Hmm. Okay. What do you think that opens? Roof access. Maybe... Okay, well, the, my only thought is the roof was blown open. And that's where we exited from. Okay, maybe we'll go to this flight. So it didn't actually open anything because there was nothing to open. Yeah, okay. That makes as much sense as any of the 
of the things that I say ever. I think this plane was flying when the uh, the bombs dropped. Even if it doesn't get hit, or like the heat or the winds, I think maybe like electromagnetic pulse might um, knock out. Oh, I thought that was a. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting somewhere. I don't even necessarily want to say nice. Somewhere less shit, <laughs> where we can rest. Okay, is that a weird... So this will be out of character as well, but we are winding down, so that's why. Is it weird that I don't... Like, I wouldn't want to just save here. I want to, like... Oh, hello? Clint? Who the hell are you? What's going on? You don't want to talk? Well, it's quite a... Look you got. Guys, it's the man with no name. It's like Clint Eastwood from the Spaghetti Westerns that he did. Alright, well that's weird. <laughs> he wouldn't talk to me either. I don't know what to tell you. Bird of bird wreckage. I don't know what we're going to find. <clears throat> find here necessarily. you nothing okay as i was saying like I, I i like saving or having my end save be in somewhere like kind of nice <laughs> it doesn't make any sense why i would want to do that but like i, I just don't want to save here i don't want to save in a vertebrate wreckage or that cave that there was nothing there i'm gonna save somewhere that's like cool or pretty or there's some glowing rad roaches. I'm not taking a shit ton of rad damage. I guess I'm in the not a good part of the world for that sort of thing. Guys, guys. I was once friends with some rad roaches. You shouldn't be doing this. Um, I actually even had a mod with a perk that meant every once in a while, like rad roaches, like that just normal one, would like come fight for me <laughs> okay so none of the junkyard probably well we'll try the capsized factory offices surely the offices I can go inside find a nice place to get out of this rain right we'll cross our fingers for the uh, whatever capsized factory although <laughs> it doesn't sound like a nice place Maybe it's beautiful. Who's to say? Oh, okay, okay. Entrance. Downwards, we like. It's still raining, though. Feral ghouls, less happy about. Still quite a number of them. That one got a good hit in. Whoa. Wait, is someone using a f flamer or something? Anyone else want a piece? You. Yeah. Whoa. What is this? What is this pink smoke? Are my friends using weird weapons or something? Yeah, okay, so you're using that one I gave you. Logan, I have no idea what you're using. That's not what I gave you or asked you to use ever. It's hard to say with Alien Elvis. He sort of does what he wants. He has got that. 
Okay, it doesn't seem to be much in here. Pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Dog tags. Alright, well, I guess the offices. That at least sounds like it's got some potential for not being horrible. Oh wait, what's over here? This is not where I came in, is it? Uh-oh, Elvis is pissed. Oh, okay. It's just a different... Different entrance as well. Okay, okay. Um, abandoned shack, forgotten church. Abandoned shack, okay, if the offices aren't... Surely... A nice cozy shack? Right? If I used my vivid weathers to make it a clear day right now, would that work? Maybe. Ghouls. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Did I blow you up? Sometimes I don't know my own gun strength. Okay. Potential. Elevator. You guys ready? Hello? Call button. Alright, alright. This might be it. Seemingly it takes us out of the rain. God damn it. It didn't. All right, it's it's starting to look more and more like abandoned shack is going to be our. What if it's just like a, like a, there's nothing there. <laughs> there was a church or something. Hey, dude. Oh. Okay, this is like the roof. Sure, I'll take a fusion core, I guess. Alright, abandoned cabin it is. And then there's, what? Forgotten church. Well, that doesn't sound good. I'm not waiting in a church, I'll tell you that right now. Shack or nothing. Yeah, even if this is a shit shack, this is where we're gonna wait it out. Wait out the storm. Have a rest. Relaxation, calm, cool, collected. Other words that mean similar things. This is it. Abandoned shack. Mm hmm. Who's in here? Anyone? Okay. Alright, everyone, come on inside. We're gonna hole up here. Oh, wait. Hey, look. Look what I found. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, actually, before I do, this guy, oh, there's not like any notes on this guy or anything. Okay, wait, here's a key. <coughs> Bill's evacuation plan. Let's just see. I know I'm in a hurry, but... Couldn't hurt to read a little before we go in. So we know what we're dealing with. Hello, government employee. With the threat of communist Chinese invasion increasing daily, you may find yourself thinking of what to do in the case of total atomic annihilation. Fear not. As a federal government worker, you have privileges. Simple instructions of bombs fell, nuclear winter, when you hear the alarms, personal belongings, safety, designated workplace, radiation problem, blah, 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 supervisor signature. Okay. So this guy, was he legit this close to making it to safety? Yikes. Yikes. That's rough. <sighs> but we're out of the rain. 
and some of the rods. Okay, so I guess what we do is chill with this dude. Hope he doesn't mind if I uh, take a seat here. He does mind. Maybe if I move him. No, he doesn't want to be moved. All right, this is what we'll do. Real good prayer to the great goddess, of course. Uh, and then next time we uh, are done our relaxation, we will head into whatever the hell this weird building is that I have no idea what it is. Huh? Yeah, folks, we did it. Two day. It's just another day. Back to you. Okay, I don't know why I said that. Um, yeah, a fun episode at the top and at the end, and then some things happened in the middle. There's no denying it. <laughs> I kind of just wanted a chill day, which is why I was debating playing Rust. So that's also why I wanted just to make like a little home on the island there sort of thing, which didn't happen. Maybe at some point, if I remember feeling that need again, I'll pop back over there. Uh, maybe there'll be some more people or one person. That's all I need is one person to make the, you know, li liaison to other things. And then I can access all my, my build materials, all my junk. So there's that. What else is there? Not much. You know, this is a YouTube video and a YouTube channel, technically speaking. So there are things that are good for those. You know what to do, you smart cookie you. If you've made it this far, go ahead and throw down in the comments. I made it this far. And I'll know. I mean, I won't remember having said this, but I'll put two and two together because every once in a while at the end of the video I will say this. Mm-hmm. It's nice to be nice to the nice.